<laughs> Wami fight the 3v3 tournament? Yes, and they won. Undefeated. Yeah, they, they didn't lose a single phase, right? Right. What'd you think? It came extremely close, but on a few. But yeah, they didn't drop a single phase. Uh, that the four three two team was monstrous. The, this is the only person who's taken a phase a game off Fuwami. This is the only person. CNet has is the only person to take a game off of one of the, Japan's best players. Watch out! That hammer's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, just they missed the hammer. It. That was insanity. Elias is playing out of their mind. Yo, his are that amazing. They touched the game! Oh, 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 Dude, my oh, why word. is this insane? This is awesome! Hello there! Last week, we took a look at the Swiss bracket for the $1,000 major tournament, and today, we will finally see the top 16 and who made it into their own double elimination bracket. And remember, if you'd like to join future events, join the Discord and follow me on Twitch in the description below. I'm currently playing through all of the PlayStation 1 Armored Cores while waiting for more patches, so come join the fun. Enjoy the top 16 of the $1,000 tournament. These, okay, again, these are three teammates. These are very, very good friends. And they have met themselves in top 16 of the $1,000 Armored Core 6 Major Tournament, the first one of hopefully many. The biggest prize pool we've ever seen for Armored Core. Three teammates, very good friends. Two very different build archetypes to the best players in their respective classes. It is time to go. Assault Booster Sim comes out from Risa. Roman looking very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous here. Pulse Armor coming out wow. from Roman. Then we'll say, I know how I know how Roman's build works. If, if Roman gets one stagger off, it might just be game. Because of the twin because of the laser slicer, especially with the pulse armor coming out from Risa. Roman's movement has to be on point here. Big kick, Give Roman staggered. Given to the nature of lightweights in this game, if you get stunned, you die. So they have two lives, basically. One with Pulse Armor, one where they just die. Roman has to find their opening and get this stagger off. If they do, and they don't have Pulse Armor, they win. The AP difference does not matter here, chat. They have Bastro Arms on their lightweight. Wow, Reese's kick from the ground. Just a fucking incredible AB movement. Reese is playing on fire right now. Pulse Armor's coming out from Robin. Robin needs to run. Or from, from Reese, Robin needs to run. Reese is playing again. so well. Oh my god. Reese is just pulling out Risa all the stops. Reese is so angry. <laughs> yeah. My god. Ooh. What a kick. Reese is the only player who can kick me, by the way. Damn, Robin. That's so hype. There's only one person. True, Jonathan, that's right. Rusty in real life. Roman really did say there's only one person who came up with me. Oh my god. That is awesome. Because I've seen I have seen Roman dodge tetrapod kicks before. Like I've seen this man dodge so many things. And Risa just hits it because Risa is insane. Probably one of the best kickers in the entire game. Hey, Dirk just barely getting in. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. I forgot. I forgot got to wait for Dirk. It's all right. I'm quick. I'm quick. I got to see Risa go Super Saiyan three. I'm ready to go. Risa's playing out of her mind. Excuse me. Yeah, it's wild. I have never seen someone kick ramen like that. Ever. 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 Yeah, the freaking vertical ascend into like what looked like a vertical kick. It looked like the freaking bicycle kicked ramen. That was wild. My gosh, Risa is six two one in real life. I think, I, I think this is six two one versus <laughs> this is six two one versus Rusty. But like, actually though, oh my god, how oh, it feels! This is amazing. Ooh, playing around that, playing around this leg. I love this. This is awesome. Robin avoiding the double in shot, getting kicked. God, look at Reese's movement. They are grabbing their AC and just shaking it. This is insanity. There's that stagger. The perfect amounts of downtime in between to get energy back. Right. Exactly. Might see a stagger on Risa soon. There's a pulse armor. Rowan's baited it out. Rowan has to back away now. That trade was not good. And that's game. Brutal. No, it's not. 
Oh, Dude, Reese's like kicks, kicks oh, are insane. Uh, okay, so I just, I just want to talk about that for a moment. So Risa was Risa was tilting the uh, Risa was tilting her camera towards the right just so they can A B to the left and still be hard locked. That is fucking insane, right? That, that, that's just that's insane movement. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god. I think Reese is the best kicker in the game. Like, oh my god. That was insanity. How how Kick does Raman queen. even adapt? Kick queen, right? Yeah, there you go. How's Raman supposed to adapt here though, right? Like play around to cover more, play around attitude super attitude recovery more. Honestly, I feel like the double stagger! Whoa! They're in competition. Top up also right now. Honestly, I feel like the I feel like charge twin blade might have been really hard, but I think Risa knows about that. Yeah. Unforge. Ah, damn. Risa taking it 2-0. Yeah, Risa's playing on fire. Like, I'll be honest with you, I know that, like, I know it might have been anticlimactic, but Risa just played so on fire. <laughs> That's insanity. Like, again, I, I want to... Oh, my God. I want to I wanna point out again. Risa was holding her camera to the right and A being left to get even faster movement. Risa's a monster. And you all should be scared. So I know that looked impossible for Amon right there, and you might be thinking, damn, lightweights suck in this game. <laughs> well, I will say that sadly we don't see Raman on stream again, but they did go on to get ninth place at this tournament. With $1,000 on the line and 147 entrants, getting to ninth place with a lightweight in a game where lightweights are notoriously underpowered is absurd. And I want to give full props to Raman for making it that far. Oh no, Bumsy, I'm sorry. All right. Let's look at it. Aeolus with an L with the LRA kite versus C Knight with their Rat Knight build. C Knight was the uh, the person who actually popularized the Rat Knight playstyle, which is one of the meta builds that we see today. So they're definitely a very good pilot and a very good builder. Excited to see this Rat Knight 2.0 build come out from them. See what they can do with it. They are losing the AP war a little bit though, but just barely. Ah, uh, we're back around the tubes again. Yes, we are. Ooh, yeah, good fights hammer. on this map take place in this area, regardless of what the builds are, because everyone can benefit from cover. Exactly. Cover is very, very important in this game. Ooh. Lighten up in the rafters. I think Alias is the only, like, midweight leg left, by the way. Yep. Yeah, everyone else is heavy. Except for Ramen. Well, not left, but I'm saying in winners. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. It's very interesting not gameplay coming up crushers? From... Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, what, though? No? Not even any crushers? Crushers? No, I mean, no, no. Crushers uh, are... you, mean, you mean Wrecker? Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't think there's <laughs> any, more, any more Wreckers left. The arms you're... are Wreckers, the legs are Crushers. No, they're called Wrecker still. Goober? You sure they're not called Stompers? I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Now stop gaslighting me so we can actually commentate the match. God damn it. Alright, I'm done gas-dogging <laughs> you. gas yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, big Man, hammer. Man, I wish I could have talked about that match for Dirt Dogs being a weenie, so... I feel that way all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, Alias has their work cut out for them. C Knight so. is a very capable cover player. And uh, they're showing it, man. They're showing how they just love to use the ins and outs, the ups and downs of these fuel tankers on the sides of the map to just play with their opponent, honestly. And I, I think to a certain extent, there's also like a mental game that comes into play here when you really can't hit them and you're just trying to nail this heavy biped. And yeah. it is moving all over the cover like that. Mm -hmm. By all rights, you're faster than it, but you can't get the angle because they're using the cover correctly. It can get extremely annoying. Oh yeah. There's definitely a mental- you into, uh, uh, too much aggression. There's definitely a mental game that comes with torrents as well, because you gotta think about it, we've been going for like, what, nine hours now almost? So these players yeah. are kind of tired. So think about that as well. Ooh, the hammer! Big Plus hammer. Both post armors are popped. Expansions are out of pocket. Probably fortunate that the hammer is what caused the stagger, because then they couldn't swing mm -hmm. the second time. They pushed their opponent mm -hmm. out of reach. Yeah, very fortunate for Elias. And they are actually winning by AP, even after that hammer swing. This is neck and neck. Holy shit. Oh, oh the kick connects with the, the toes. Oh. 
SK got off worse for that. The laser rifle trade back was heavy. Yeah, Whoa. that was fantastic. I was think the hammer thing? missed. I Did think they... the hammer missed. Yeah, I, th I think so, okay. yeah. Which is kind of insane. Huh. I would love to see, uh, I would love to see, I think that she did, yeah, because if you, if you go up high enough, when the VBMs respawn, like, they, they go up and they disappear, and then they come back down after a while, I, I think, when you go up, when you go up high enough on grid 86, you can't actually get that roof to block the VBMs, and that's what, uh, I think that's what, uh, Elias is doing here, just very, very, very smart by them. Oh, look at that, all the, yeah. all the missiles just right into the ceiling there. Yeah. Every yeah. single vertical plasma for both players. <laughs> 55 seconds left. Honestly, Elias just needs to chill. You have to come to me. You have to. You are forced to. Or in 50 seconds, See, I win. I don't know, it looks like Alias wants blood. <laughs> I mean, you can push your advantage, that's a good idea, but like, honestly, I, I, at this point, they have to get a kick in the hammer or something. Yeah, it may have, it may have been full aggression. I think they're just confidently holding because they know that everything coming at them isn't enough to switch it. Mm hmm. They could also be intentionally running down the timer as well. There's That's the true. kick. SK could be. Ooh, ooh, good dodge ooh, on the kick. That, that might just be game right there. Yep, there it is. Yeah. GG. Phase nail three. Biter, nail biter of a set so far. Good lord. Down to the wire. Yep. Compared to the week one tournament, we're seeing so many more kick dodges over time as players figure out the direction that actually works against different mm -hmm. leg types. Yeah, it's absolutely. really, really cool. Cause I mean, lat's lat, right? But it, you can still, the mo majority of the time, dodge it if you go, for example, forward and to the side. Uh, add me on Discord, Raman. I'm doing it manually. Yeah, see, right there, like that—that that was an amazing kick dodge. They still got hammered, but still, amazing kick dodge by Elias. Alula is actually helping out a lot on this build. I'm still, yeah, blown away by them doing this in the Alulas. They don't have the, like, extended vertical mobility that the Gridwalkers give you, but they're still timing these just right to go over the kicks. Yeah, it's such a cool build. the Alulas do afford is that extra mobility makes dodging missiles a breeze. I mean, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, without right even there. having to spend any energy from a quick boost, without having to stall their energy regen, they can just slide. They're you close know, to a stagger, to the too. Left. <laughs> There's the stagger. Push purple armor. They definitely should be a assault boosting way here, I think. Because they, if they get the kick... Ooh, there's the pulse armor! Watch out, that hammer's gonna do a lot of damage! Oh, just they misses the hammer. The... That was insanity! Elias is playing out of their mind! Yo, His dodges are amazing! They dodged the kick! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my Dude, Elias word. is insane! This is awesome! Nice job, Alias. Good work. Oh my god! That was ridiculous! That dodge was crazy! Yeah. Dude! Dude! I fucking love this game! Alright, back to it anyway. Elias actually taking a bit of chip damage there. C9 just chilling in their house right now. Very yeah, RPS due to its current mechanics. Homie, we have a build lock. You can't do RPS here. There's matchups, yeah, but that's the same in any fighting game. Like any any fighting game or any competitive game, there's there's matchups. Yeah, so with the build lock in place, if a player goes with the, you know, the uber goober tank to beat people like Ramen uh, and a lot of other things, admittedly, uh, the first rat that shows up with Burzels only missiles and light oh. parts is vibing. Yep. Yo, they are scrapping behind these tanks. Yup, alias looking worse for wear. Yeah. yeah. Alias has played perfectly from here on out. Is that really learning yes. from that first match? I wonder if they're changing the angle of their kick somehow. As in like, just like, like, because like, you saw them AB left for a moment there and then kick. I think they're trying to mix it up and catch them off guard. I understand what you that mean, Raven, but like, I'm, I'm saying that you can't really RPS like in a build lock tournament. You have to make a generalist build and you have to sign up for that with that. A build that you think can beat everything. Anyway, back to the match. Let's talk about the yeah, match I think, instead of uh... <laughs> I think uh C Knight is a hundred percent lasered in focused on getting those kicks to land. Because that's the dip. <laughs> what is that's happening? That. What is going on? They're shopping. waving hello. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is that? They bring the moment of this fight. <laughs> this the outside Denny's Denny's at four AM. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I think this is smart though. If 
if this is what C9 is doing, if C9 is just saying, okay, I need to mix up my kicks, and they have to win, I think they're 100% right. Because that hammer will do the work. They have an AP and defense advantage if they trade. They just need to enable that hammer. The thing mm -hmm. is, right now, C Knight's losing on AP. And if yep. Alias just chills on the other side of the map and just doesn't interact, they lose. So C Knight Ooh, has they... to do something. They're still waiting on AP. They're still waiting on AP. Very barely. They took a couple more missiles there. I it's love this peak crack. I never even noticed this part of the map where there's yeah. these two pieces of cover, but there's a tiny little slit you can kind of shoot your, your missiles through, your weapons through. What the heck? C Knight. It's a, it's a very peekaboo match, and it's kind of funny, honestly. I'm you know, I guess down. that just shows I don't know this map well enough. I don't play it enough. I guess we don't play this video game enough. It's clearly That's true. We should play. My, my 500 hours is not enough, I guess. I should play more. Right. <laughs> it's a good game, so I'm probably going to. Yep, this yeah, is going to be a thousand hour game. Oh, yeah. See, you're not Easy. coming out of there. I'm coming out of their fucking cage, and they're feeling just fine. That, uh, that the movement kick landed. was crazy. Did y'all see that movement? What is that, dude? Like, honestly, what is that movement? Yep, things are getting a bit technical now. Oh, yeah. Every assault boost thought out, every quick boost, every kick has just so much purpose behind it at this level of play. Exactly. The way that C Knight planned the particle effects of that pulse shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, though. There's that kick that we've been talking about. The kick and the hammer. Just one kick, one hammer. It is. That oh, should be junk. game. There it is. Junk. Oh, oh my gosh. So, yeah, that's how C Knight's build works. Uh, <laughs> need to hit oh. the kick. Need to fake him out, position well, and time it, you know? Boy, it does make me happy that LRAs are right up here. One of the sickest looking weapons in the game. When I first looked oh, yeah. at it, I was like, is this the Kurosawa? In Kurosawa. This game? Clearly Kurosawa, but <laughs> it's not Kurosawa. But then you, know, you look at the name, it's like LRA. I can't in any way pronounce that like Kurosawa. I can't bend it. Right. <laughs> it does Lara, fire a bit Lara, like Lara, 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 Lara. Kawasawa. That's how you say it. Oh my god, Lara Wawa, you know? LRA makes sense now. Yeah, exactly. That's what it stands for. <laughs> The early trade going SK's way. The kick. Ooh, hammer missed that the, time, went right over the shoulder. They actually the hammer, but they still pull armor anyway. Okay, both Loses play, yes, out. losers can play. Losers can play. Losers backup can play. Missed the kick and the hammer. No, they actually hit the hammer, yeah. it looks like. These chips going Alias' way. I think that hit straight up hammer, okay. Wow, just raw hammer, no kick. I, yep, honestly, saw the maybe you should pit here. It. Because Elias' See, stagger so well. is so, is so freaking high oh, right now. Alias is just dancing at their max ACS strain. There it is. Ooh, there oh, it goes. Wow. Oh, man. The way the, the weapons fell and the AC just got knocked backwards. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Good job from software. Some Looney Tunes style knockback there. <laughs> Great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, this is for it. Alias to stay in winner's bracket, correct? <clears throat> yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Or... All right. Well, I mean, that, that, that's just how. Yeah, that's how it works. They stay in. Uh, they stay in. Whoever, uh, whoever, fall, whoever loses oh, cool. this, it goes in the loser's bracket. C Knights go into the hole. Oh, never mind. They left. <laughs> C Knight is in the fucking tank garage, or was in the tank garage. <laughs> From the tank garage Ooh. to the. Alias eating those missiles. Alias eating those missiles again. Maybe they're out of EN. There's the kick. Nice pulse. Snet's done a very good job of of uh, of, uh what am I saying? Uh, Snet's doing a very good job of uh, of like just. Okay. I can't, I can't even get my words. I can't even get my words. Yeah. Oh my god. The adaptation wow. into the pit. Oh my. They <laughs> joined him. The adaptation from C Knight there was insane. They went from missing every kick to hitting every kick. Did you want me to fight the 3v3 tournament? Yes, and they won. They didn't drop a single Undefeated. game. Undefeated. Yeah, they, Undefeated. they didn't Entirely. lose a single phase, right? Right. What did they? It came extremely close, but on a few. But yeah, they didn't drop a single phase. Uh, no. that, the 4 3 2 team was monstrous. The. The, this is the only person who's taken a, phase, a, a game off Huami. This is the only person. C Knight has is the only person to take a game off of one of the, Japan's best players. 
Okay. If it happened now, that would be Hawami in the loser's bracket, and something about that is not rubbing right in my brain. It doesn't, Dude, yeah, it doesn't jive well. <laughs> Honestly? Oh, yeah, we should. Dirk, you're not doing the gambas! You're not doing the gambas! I'm sorry, <laughs> I was so focused on this. This is understandable. <laughs> I'll, I'll get him going for the next one. Thanks for we, the reminder. No, 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 no. We need a gamer now. We need a gamer for this. Desperately. Desperately, All right, please. It's coming up right now. It's going to be short. So everyone who wants to get Ooh. your points on the board, you better do so quickly. You lost to Don Chihuahua? I mean, there you go. All right, true prediction up chat. Go ahead and, go ahead and, go ahead and vote right now. Oh, there's the stagger on Hawami. Yo, this is... Some crap like, play right now. I like what C Knight's doing, staying right in these buildings. This is an annoying place to be as a little wheelchair tank. Right. Lots of little obstacles to arrest the movement, forcing them to go up, spend a boost that they might want to use, changing directions. That exactly. just and, went. Ooh, very close to a stagger here. Oh, okay. Knight's pulse armor. Holy very, shit. Very, very nice pulse armor. A lot of parries coming out from C Knight. One of them does land, blocks up Majestic. I have a line for 28k on C Knight! Oh, Ooh, there's Majestic! Jeff, and there's a Fasan! Fasan, wow! Look at Has that damage! Has C Knight used their expansion? Uh, there it is, right there! There it is! There it is. The T put the Fasan! The Fasan! Fasan moment! Fasan goes moment. straight through Pulse Armor! Fasan yeah, goes straight through Pulse Armor! If it starts its damage before the Pulse Armor is up, it will continue its damage as if the Pulse Armor is not there. No the shit! Fasan through PA, dude! Yep. We got- th There's a reason why Japan th th totes the Fasan as, like, top tier. As, like, one of the best weapons in the game. We should start using the Fasan! What is America doing? What is the yeah, West we doing? Yeah, we need to get the usage <laughs> numbers up so that they patch it. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> or until we learn how to beat it, but so oh far my it's God. been dominant in this tournament. Yo, that interaction was insane. Oh mm -hmm. my God. That interaction is why I love the song oh. so, so much. The Fasan oh. damage. Oh, stuck on the freeway. That's going to hurt the EN. Oh, so much damage from the army's wheelchair. Ad recovery's kicking in. Oh, this this looks like game. Wait, no, the stagger bar, the stagger bar's increasing. Points yeah. get hit by a lot of these vertical missiles. And if C Knight lands the hammer on a staggered opponent, we know what happens. Oh yeah. Oh Can yeah. Can they get through that shield? Oh, Does not seem like nasty. it. They just rapid fire the facades. If so, incredibly based. Oh. They have a very fast fire rate. Oh my god. Uh, every every region has their own server people. Yes, and Japan mostly sticks to Japan because you know it's a very small. It's like a small area, and a lot of people. Armor core is way bigger in Japan. Oh my God! Imagine how good their lat is. <sighs> it's way better than yeah, our really. lat. My <laughs> jealousy. I'm about to I'm about to move to Japan. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a Duolingo account soon. I'll be real. Between Cinnabon is out of the tournament. Dark Slayer Gilbert's out of the tournament, and Winoas oh. are out of the tournament so far. And there's a doggo. Also, Game Priest is also at the tournament. Oh. Is that the same build that, uh, so we have a question from Tech Striker. Is it the same build that Hawami used in the 3v3 tournament? Uh, Dirk. Um, close. It's close. Okay. Hawami was the, uh, tank with the Twin Majestics, right? That oh, was the parry! falling off the ledges for the terminal velocity kicks. <laughs> Yeah. The terminal velocity. I, I, you got to get me that VOD so I can edit that video for you, Dirk. I want to see that. Uh huh. Yep. Ooh, barely do. missing the kick. That's actually so important. That's a heavy biped kick too. Has Hiwami been staggered? Uh, they just got staggered for the first time, I think. All right. Put one on the board. <laughs> now is this top? Is this top five? Uh, is this round three? No, it's not. It's not semifinals yet. Nope. Not yet. This is only best of three. God. Oh. The double yeah. stagger is so unfortunate. Fasan doing Fasan things. Uh, even just one is doing around like three to four thousand damage. Ooh, good damage though. Is the PS is the PS on cooldown? Because they weren't able to parry that uh, that that kick or that hammer. Unsure. Maybe. Yeah. It would be strange if it was. They didn't get staggered. 
Or maybe it's from getting staggered before. Breaks the <gasps> shield. Wow. See, I did the phase. See, I did it. Hammer. That was insanity. That was insanity. Hammer. You know, sometimes it misses, but then it'll just do things like that. What a weapon. Okay. Phase two. Let's see it. The only person, again, I want to say, chat, from those that are new, for those that are just now joining us, Hawami has not lost a single game all tournament except for the C Knight. Except for C Knight. C Knight's the only one to take a, take a single game off this of this gamer. This is so cool see if too. C Knight can solve like, the puzzle. It's like uh, it's yeah. like the West the West meta right now is Rat Knight, and the and the Japanese meta right now is Fasan. So it's like it's like we're seeing Japanese meta versus versus American meta right now. And it's or like West meta, which is so freaking cool. Absolutely. And the thing is both both these players don't face things like this often. Yeah, like this might be a like, first I'm or assuming. second time what fighting Japan a, a Rat Knight. Like, but I know C Knight hasn't probably hasn't run into that many Fasan wheelchairs. Almost definitely not, yeah. I do watch a lot of the late night Japanese fight clubs, and you definitely don't see anything like C Knight's heavy uh, Rat Knight in their clubs. It's it's just very rare to see uh, heavy bipeds rocking something like this. A lot of the times they rock wheelchairs or heavier tetrapods, uh, like with Sans, as you were saying. Oh, so SK has scrimmed with Hawami before this. Okay, cool. So they have played before. Oh, that's awesome. Cool to hear that some of these high level players are just playing together. Oh, yeah, they play all right? There are so many. Dude, I, I, people play all the time. It's so freaking cool. All right, how much SK? How much can SK get done on what's probably like 500 AP? Yeah, they have 200. to have to rat now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, this is C Knight's one one. winners stock here. Their winners phase. If they lose this phase, they go down the losers. You want me an alt bracket? We be scared. Why are you calling it alternate? Just call it losers. Just call it losers, please. It, that's just what nah, it's called. It's so much cooler. <laughs> oh my god! Alternate bracket like alternate human. Think about it. Thing about it deep <laughs> this really says something about our tournament this really says something uh, about humanity doesn't it mm, i don't know what it is but it's something yeah it's certainly talking goofy boy just trading light blows you know, honestly a few I, hits I, here I, and there i i guess you know it's trying to rat like just trying their best to just not approach but then again like we, we know how good huami is at manual aiming look at that majestic almost connecting even because of the 10 meter radius. Mm hmm. It's going to be mind games. Ooh, Maybe the faking is so being close. out of energy. The Fasan connecting. That was greedy by SK to not pulse shield the mid air majestic. Yeah. They thought it was going to miss, but they could have just shielded. There was no reason not to. Ooh, the Fasan coming out. Ooh, there's the damage, and that, that oh, might just be game. big dagger. Oh, Ooh. the hammer. Majestic's doing so well here. The Fasan, that, that shield's the broken. Bar. They broke the shield. They broke the shield. Did y'all notice that? That's terrifying. Did CNI try to shield that? Yeah, CNI tried to shield that, and he got his shield broken. Oh, shield's back up. We're good. That AP lead. Ooh. Oh, around the corner. Dagger. Big damage. Big damage now. I'm not sure if it's gonna matter though. One, nah, one hit like from he. a. Ooh, there we go. Oh man. Oh, unfortunate. But C Knight, C Knight, uh, bleh. C Knight goes go down the losers bracket. But oh my God, Hawami's playing on fire, dude. It's insane. Now comes some Morleys. I think this is the only two Morleys that we have in this tournament. Are you sure it's not Redshift Nebula, by the way? Yeah, maybe. It is getting late. Maybe maybe it is. My brain is turning to mush. I think it's gray. <laughs> Shut up, Dark. <laughs> no, that is a regular <laughs> nebula. Up, That's a it's regular a ass nebula. nebula. Boom. Excuse me? It's probably manual aim too. <laughs> yeah, I think this is this is probably manual aim nebula. Now Disco is one of the best rat players in the world, by the way. Like, from, from our manual just aim from, nebula like... is good against rat. No, that, but the, 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 the disco is the rat! Yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 what do you mean good against rat? The rat the has become its weakness. <laughs> right. 
Wow, look at those <laughs> manual aim nebulas, man. Holy shit. That is ridiculous. Eco warming up for Armored Core on aim trainer of all things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take more damage? I wonder how fast uh, like the AB speed of, uh, of, <laughs> of Disco's build is. Disco's build's probably rocking. This is a rough estimate. Around uh, 450, maybe 460. Assault boost speed? Yep. There's no way. They have to be faster than that. The, the, weight? the weight thing is a problem. Yeah, they've got heavy legs. They've got a very heavy core. Oh, true. Good point. When they side boost like that, they're probably moving, you know, closer to six. But For reference, I'm using my similar build that uses Haldman's. Oh, nice. uh, 480 is disco, is disco speed. Okay, thank you, C-Knight. C-Knight's a friend okay. of disco, so. I was a bit low. Oh my gosh. AP <laughs> these games, slightly. These games are almost definitely going to go to timer, by the way. Just letting y'all chat. Just letting y'all know, chat. Yeah, buckle up. Buckle in for a long for a one. Even the VPMs and missiles are being shielded. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> Tika, one of the only non-shield users left, by the way. That's kind of interesting to think about. Maybe from software, maybe we should change. Maybe we should maybe adjust mm. shields a little bit, possibly. Switch mm. camera, I'm down with that. He was close to being staggered though with no pulse armor on deck and they have to approach. Morley's shipping. But Nebula doing a lot of damage actually. This is interesting. The nerfs were heavy for a reason. The Nebula was disgusting before the nerfs. And now it's oh. just pretty dang good. This is Grand Finals. No, it is not Stomo. This is uh, winner's round three. Of the uh, yep, top 16. Final bracket. Yeah, 15 proc. Uh, I be uh, yeah, I believe so. Emil. Nebula has an insane proximity detonation hitbox. <gasps> the Morley drop! Interesting. Th that, that, that must, oh. how, how, much, how much does that increase our AB speed? By a lot, right? Because those things are like 6,000 each. It's visibly noticeable. Oh huh. my gosh. I'm actually so. They, their AC looks naked now. It looks so weird without the Morley <laughs> drop. bald. He's <laughs> bald. <laughs> Yes, yeah, this girl also has that shield, well. though. I think they were just shielding all the Morleys. So it was like, well, why bother? Good point. I still got the hammer, you know? Petra kick into hammer is a menace. Wow, that point blank nebula. I'm actually a bit surprised we didn't see more quads. I know they got nerfed a bit, but they're still incredibly good. And what's interesting about this is that um, I do want to say, just knowing Disco as a player, Disco's one of the best rats in the game, if not the best rat. So their movement is just incredible here. They're staying the fuck away from Tiku. Yep, Tiku trying to pull out the tricks, but I think they're hardlock assault boosting, which kind of makes sense with missiles and a melee weapon and going for kicks and all that, but I think they need to be cutting the angle and locking at the last moment. I can see that, yeah. Damn! Wow. Let's go taking it. Rat gang represent. Yeah, if if even Japan isn't playing lightweights, from has got to know. They have to know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably just a complex question that they're they're cooking on, you know? Exactly. I, I really hope we get some system changes in the future. All right. We got Tiku playing under the ship. Under the ship. And, uh... Still getting hit. I entered the wrong bracket. Am I stupid? I'm sorry. God damn it. I was thinking. I, I, I just, I'm dumb. Whatever. It's fine. I got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry about that, Chloro. I, I will have a player's. Uh, I will talk. Be talking about a player and be like, oh, I'm just going to. Yo, know, their name. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm? All right. Back to this, though. Tico, deciding to keep the more loose. What do you think is a smart move? Because I don't think it's speed that's, that's, that's an issue. It's damage. Because because you can just parry the hammer with your coral, with the uh, the coral shield, and take a lot less damage. You basically only have one weapon against them if you drop the Morleys. Absolutely true. Ah, <sighs> and the, the missiles are just doing all the heavy lifting either way. Look, like no matter what's going on, it's just only MLT4 is landing. Maybe a mm -hmm. kick here or there, but it gets shielded. Disco is incredibly consistent with this defensive play. 
Yeah, and they're using the nebula to keep themselves aloft way longer than they should be by using the stance to keep them in the air after they've added energy. It's legitimately oh, yeah. such a cool build. That, that, is, that is one of the coolest uh, rat builds I've ever seen in my entire life. The, the, dude, I even think about the nebula keeping them in the air, Moogle. That's so freaking cool. I'm especially partial because there's two hand, different hand weapons. I like it when, the, when it's just not two of the same. I usually have two yeah. of the same just because it's like generally great. But people that find these builds where they have alternate weapons is honestly super creative. It's yeah. so cool. And it shows like they spend a lot of time doing it and refining it. Ramen fan club growing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ramen's the kind of player that that will get to their head. So maybe I shouldn't grow their fan club. <laughs> yeah. I'm, joke, I'm also starting my own fan club. It's called the uh, Clora fan club. You know what? I kind of agree. Chloe's a cool ass player. Completely oh, unrelated. Getting stuck on the... No. All right, Tiku. What's the move here? How do we approach this? There's the nebula. Uh, it's always coming. Twitch bots are terrible. They they compress the fuck out of it out of the uh, the video. Hmm. I don't really know what Tiku can do here. I feel like this might just be a, like, just, like, I, I feel like Tiku's been struggling against rats so hard. You know what I mean? Like, we saw how explosive it can be, but, like, you can't really be explosive whenever you can't catch your opponent. Right. You know, they've, they've probably beaten rats, but Disco? I think Disco might be taking it this time. Yeah, and you, you could beat rats, but can you beat Disco's rat? That's the question. Because Disco is... One of the best rat players ever. <laughs> so like, uh, uh oh, yeah. Disco is the rat, exactly. Rushady. Disco is the rat. He's a weasel. <laughs> My gosh, Zaga two O alias. Thank you, Lethal. Appreciate it. Hi, you so, mean the thrusters here. When I first realized that this was a spot that you could hide, I was so happy. <laughs> these Why? intricate little details because I love spaceships and these details are cool and it's actually useful cover it's just like working style into functional gameplay Did you get nebula it's yeah, really the, neat the honestly the quadruped hitbox is also working against TQ very much so yeah it's the tiniest part of that giant hitbox because if you didn't know, the nebula's shot is bigger than it appears. If it hits anything on that frame, any of the four legs, the toesies, whatever, full damage. Yep. That's just how the mechanic works, which is unfortunate, but that is how it works. That's the reality of the situation. I... Yeah, I, d I don't necessarily like the projectile size balancing situation, but if it didn't have that, its projectiles are so slow, I don't think it would ever hit. Uh, better TTV as a rat jam emote, so uh, get be better get better TTV for for rat jam. Sub for a rat jam emote. I do need to make one. Be fun. Well, I'll get I'll get one commissioned or something. Be fun. A rat, but it's just drawn like in pang colors. No, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't <laughs> be bucket. Bucket's not a rat. Bucket's a pangolin. Right, but why well, pronounce it like weasel? It's a German word. Pronounce it Bortzel? I don't. I I don't. I have. Jonathan. I just call it what I call it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not German. I actually am German, so that I might maybe I should uh me I should feel bad. Yes. All the time. <laughs> no, for real though. I think uh Bertzel sounds maybe right. It's definitely no easier. Idea. It rolls off the tongue. Oh direct Morley! No, but Tiku's out of energy! That's so sad! Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yep, nothing to follow up. Couldn't get the hammer in. Oh my god! Disco is at a dangerous amount of AP now, though. If another mistake like that happened, you could swing. Yeah? Yeah. It isn't the pulse over anymore. It did take Tiku a whole two and a half minutes to fish for that opening though so i'm just now looking at the time yes uh <laughs> about my last statement good luck to you <laughs> fought very valiantly for sure extremely but... good timing from disco on these uh nebula shots probably just at the end of their generator lifespan but when they're letting the shot go is usually like 
right between dodges. Mm -hmm. yeah, honestly, it, it was just an issue of like fighting the, the best rat player that we have over here in the West on a build that it, it does not have a great matchup against rats. Would Earshot have been the better play for that build? Try hitting Disco with Earshot, Bloodbane. <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. This will be a very fun match. We have, again, someone whose build looks like it should lose to Rat, but Hawami is one of the best manual aiming, like, gamers we've ever seen, so... Yep, and when you're manual aiming too, you're free from that, uh, that lock-on, or especially hard lock-on, pulling you straight at your opponent so you can cut angles. Mm -hmm. Playing rats is all about generator managing, exactly, yeah. And that, that, and that, like, Disco's really gosh darn good at that. Yeah, Gamba, Gamba, we need Gamba, Dirk! <laughs> oh man, dude, these, these are so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what is Hawami doing? What are these kicks up in the rat nest? What? All right, it's gonna be a quick one, guys, so make sure you're ready with your Gambas. Exactly. Now, can Disco take a game off Hawami? Nobody has done it besides Sea Knight so far. Woo, it's gonna be a hype match. Melting Cube also says that Nebula has 0.7 meter radius, but 15 meter proximity detonation. 15? Oh my god, Nebula's insane. Weapon. What a no shot. No wonder they nerfed the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, those original stats are a little silly for a weapon that just lands all the damn always. Wow, Hawami getting staggered. Huge oh, less than damage. a minute in. Less than a That's... minute in. That is the fastest stagger on Hawami all tournament. It's kind of insane, even. Oh my gosh. Oh, you took it. You get a game off of Kiwa? Okay, never mind then. You mean a phase or a game? Because I'm talking about like it, they went 2 1 with C Knight. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Or do you mean a phase? You went 2 1. Oh, damn. Good job, Church Mission. Disco is taking damage, though. This might be a, a case where Hawami is going to struggle for the first two matches, and then, uh... Adapt. And then just, like, start, yeah, adapting, yeah. Disco hitting the shield at the right time there, absorbed most of that Fasan's danger. Mm -hmm. oh. Another stagger. Woo! The hit rate from Disco is bonkers. Absolutely insane. I wonder if Disco plays uh, FPS games on the reg. <laughs> Cause all of these all of these nebula shots have been manual aimed. Got it, Risa. Run versus Taka too. Oh, oh wait, really? Damn, have... Risa. I don't have turn controls. <laughs> yeah, I do. I got it. Alright, damn. Epic. Epic. Disco. Putting one on the board. You also think about this nice. way, Hawami's from Japan. It's like 2 a.m. over there, right? 2 a.m., 3 oh, a.m.? Yeah. Hey, especially gotta bracket, big league. Yeah, gotta be tired at this point. Even the U.S. players who played, started this tournament in their early afternoon or morning, uh, probably still tired. So starting this tournament and ending it the next day, great it's job, Hawami. It's 10.30 a.m. In Japan right now. Oh. Honestly, oh, open no. up the blinds, let the sun in, wake up. It's time to shine. Oh, poor Hawami, <laughs> bro. But honestly, like, they've, they're, they've played so fucking well. It's it's legitimately insane. And they're winning the AP lead right now, look! Yep. This guy was trying to be careful there and not fire at a time where they, it would leave them vulnerable. Because they can't shield while they're in that animation. No, they cannot, but they can't. They can't actually. The cold shield can't activate before they go into the stance, so they can't have the the cold shield up passively. Because on bipeds, if you're using a stance weapon, you can't have the cold shield activated. Which is why they went a cold shield, not PS. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that interaction. It's very very cool. It's a neat tech. You, do, can you activate it during a car, during a, a stance shot? I thought you had to have it activated before you did it. Yep, get the experts on that. This guy's Disco hiding. a little behind Disco... on AP. I wonder if Disco's okay with just waiting and getting the AP at the last second. Potentially? Maybe. They've got the Nebula. They can snipe it out. Disco, you're losing, lol. <laughs> Before... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying, C-Knight. That's what I was saying. 
This I'm coach imagining is uh, their, their fight coach in their corner, like, come on, help! <laughs> Thing is, <laughs> if I was Swami, <laughs> manual aim for Son, baby. I know where you are. Why are we not seeing a facade? Just hit it like right next to Disco. Do they? Do they know where they are? Maybe they don't. Now oh, they're just chilling. Oh, the facade hit. Now. The facade hit. No way! Holy shit! That manual aim for Son was crazy. Again, Fasan has Ooh, the no proxy. <gasps> the nebula, nebula. right into the red AD nest. Lead. That was Holy so smart. Yeah. This goes BPMs. in the pocket, come out to play. The Fasan snipe! The manual aim Fasan! Again, there's no proximity damage on that. That was just pure skill. Pure skill and 900 meters per second. Oh my gosh. The manual aim Fasan! shots. On point. I should Magister keep track. Happening. 11 seconds <laughs> left. The Fasan! AP lead. Disco. Has a shield. Disco wins it. Wow. Alright. Homie has one more game. This is the best of five. This is winner semi, so it's the best of five. Back to <laughs> it. We're on Spaceport, which honestly, I think it's a very good choice from uh from Huami. I know it's a big map. I know that this could make a lot of a lot of space, but like Wiltshire's so fast and that you have so much ground to play on. This kick tech is so cool, dude. Yep, energy efficiency. It's green. Yeah. Rogue energy efficiency. Oh my mm. god. <laughs> I do want to say again, thank y'all for ordering. Thank y'all for <laughs> I think I got like four orders today. Thank y'all so much for that. I do appreciate it. Very kind of y'all. Thank god. Let's see. This is the this is the uh spaceport classic, right? Just checking down the lanes. Eyeing each other up, mean mugging a little bit, stancing. Ooh. Oh yeah. Thank you, Clover, for the update. See Majestic's landing, the Fasan landing! Early advantage to Hawami. This disco dips. D dips go. Get it? It's like dip, but disco is funny. I, it's been 10 yeah. hours, chat. Let me load. A 10, 10 uh. hour stream is real. <laughs> the commentators are out of commentary juice. It is yeah, bad. I'm propped up with like sticks. I'm, I, yeah. I have sticks holding me up right now. <laughs> it's like a weekend at Bernie's type situation. I think another shout out for Dirk Dong, because like, good lord, y'all need to follow this gamer. Please, please, please follow this gamer. They do fight yeah, clubs they... like around, uh, around like, you know, 3 p.m. CST. Absolute fucking incredible gamer. Yeah, make number go up. I like that. Also, like having more people to play with. Yeah, so I, I, don't pay these guys, I don't pay these guys in anything shit. but... I don't pay these guys in anything but exposure, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah! It's, it's, an investment. it's like an investment, right? Yeah. No, it's fun. It's, I get to hang out, I get to watch the best players in the game, and I get to talk about them in front of a bunch of people. It's super fun. And y'all don't have to do any of the paperwork, so you didn't have to spend None seven, seven hours all. last I make night a going point through... of not doing it. I... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't have to go through seven hours yesterday going through uh, <laughs> Google spreadsheets and Google Forms. Yep, I like the contractor situation. <laughs> Hiwami on AP at disadvantage, having to chase Disco down around the ship. Having a tough time of it, but landing some hits here. This is another issue with like Tiku and uh, like this is, this is the same thing with Tiku. It's like, like <sighs> this matchup seems so difficult. And Hiwami's tired. Yeah. And not to mention, Disco's playing out of their goddamn mind. So it's like, mm -hmm. like well, what do you do in this situation? Yeah, it just really suffer. just goes one way, right? Disco either staggers in one combo and does done a ton of, or not Disco, Hawami either staggers Disco and does a ton of damage, or does a bunch of stagger and Disco runs away. Go oh, down to the timer again. Oh, big majestic, but not enough to stagger. Not enough now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, thank you, Elias. Yeah, again, I spent I spent seven and a half hours, I believe, on paperwork, just making sure everyone knew that 20... I, I did everything in my power for people to know what was going on, and I still had people who did... It's who inevitable. Did, who 20 snap. minutes after, after the tournament, they were like, can I still check in? It's like, no, you can't. The tournament started 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 rat. The uh, not rat. Uh, disco rat. <laughs> 
you gonna call Disco Rat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a compliment to be known as the rat. No, big gentleman, you cannot check in. <laughs> Not right now. Bit late, bud. <laughs> Bit late. You know, Disco. Don't mind him. Disco He's just won. coming home from the bar. It's a best of five because it's winner semis, and uh, and Disco has won all games so far. So it's 2-0, set point. Yeah, Mar we'll punch you, we'll punch you right back in. Can I check in? God. Well, yeah, because it's funny, Compass. I'm down. It's funny. <laughs> Let's go. Mar gets back in. Yo, second life? Wild card entrance? That's what we should do. Next time we have like a, a player drop out of top 16, we'll do a wild card. We just add somebody. Like chat, chat vote. We just get somebody back in. Run it like a reality show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it want me on a notable AP lead here. Yeah, I honestly, this is really cool. And hiding underneath the, the, the ship is a very good idea. Wow, look at those verticals. Just cruise right around the side of the ship, though, and land. And yeah, they I'll... do jack. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> the wheelchair rolls that. right out of their DOT. You say that, but then, like, Huami just lost a Pele to them, so. Mm. Yeah, true. It's true. I think it was partially the MLT4 pushing it over the edge, too. And the 4s, for sure, yeah. Yeah, those do way more damage. Ooh, big hit from, my, from oh my gosh, big hit from Huami. Why am I take this face? Oh, dude, it is neck and neck. Oh, Ooh, the last few of those missiles though. landing got a little bit sloppy there. Thought it might just hold up. Oh. Wow. Is that literally going to be the point diff? We'll see. Or the AP diff, rather. Just a sliver. I want to point this out, by left. the way, chat. Disco has been playing this way since the tournament started. Disco has been ratting this entire tournament for nine hours they've been doing this can All you imagine sorts of builds. the mental fortitude it takes to play a rat build to be extremely defensive and bring almost every game to timer for nine hours for nine hours this has been going yeah, this, this is, is this no is pile this. bunker six second match this is a marathon oh yeah wow. where the larves go um they, they got killed off by Bodlock. That is, like, never gets greedy, never gets impatient, always on the defensive, which is insane. Shout out Chat. both of those players. That was tight. <laughs> and the man, oh, both of them were manual aiming, right? Both of them are using move tech. Just all all the stops from both. Insane. But Disco takes it 3-0 against Hawami, and Hawami is in, losers. There is a shark in the water, chat. It's going to end up being like the uh, the Halo lasso deathless. Hey, Sakura, <laughs> thanks for the gifting five tier one subs. I appreciate it. People finally evolved to a point where it's possible. Uh, Steve Raptor got too sleepy. <laughs> it became 1.30 a.m. and they decided to go to bed, which honestly, completely valid. This one went way longer than I thought it was. I thought it would. But we also had a lot of delays, so. sadly. Well, I'll, 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 I'll make it better next time. Don't worry. Dude, Reese versus C9. I'm so excited. We have we have probably the best dual Zim player we have here in the West and the best Rat Knight player we have in the West. This is awesome. Yep, two Burzel heavies. Two Burzel heavies with a shield. That's the, that's, that's the meta right now. That is the meta. Is heavyweight biped with shield. That is the game that we play, gamers. Yep, and Hell, flutter I play shielding. That. Flutter shielding, I like that. Instead of just parry spam, I like it. Yes, yes. It sounds like more of a intentional thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the parry on the dual zim, that was clean by C Knight. Bit of pul bit of damage coming in during the pulse and armor animation for both players. Now they're both low. We're in the chase. Very much so. And the racist movement is incredible here. Racist movement is very, very good. We know this from the Ramen Rook fight, where they were actually the cape one of the best lightweight players in the world. And the parries oh, are the insane. That stagger could be That's big. It. it is, in fact, big. Risa takes the first phase. I love the camera oh. dance. <laughs> yeah. oh, speaking of their amazing kicks, Risa, we're the best kickers we have here in the West. Good Lord.
I hate how I keep saying we here in the West, but I don't know anything about Japan's meta. I can't say the world. I don't speak Japanese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a dual lingo competition striker? Because I do need to learn Japanese. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm a, we're going to learn it together. I'm down. Me and you, Dirt Dog. It does help to have someone to try to talk to. Perfect. Oh my I'm goodness. Gonna do it. All Japanese armor cast, me and you and Hawami. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. Oh SK my gosh. on higher stagger, but with more AP now. What's the move? I just, I honestly, I feel like the, the real difference maker here is that, like, hmm, how, do I, how do I say this? So, CNET has more long range poke power, so they really just have to do what they're doing right now, where they just kind of like make the game go at a longer range. Because Zermans can do, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but they do deflect. They do have that ricochet to them because they are connected weapons. So you can just stay at that ideal range where your missiles are going to connect decently well. You're going to be able to go in for a kick whenever you like to. And the Zimmerman's are going to ricochet. You just have to find that range and stay in it. The question is, is Reese is going to let you stay there, though, with their assault boost movement, right? And so... Exactly. The, the times, objective of... Like, oh. so, no, go, go for ahead. it. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, you know, the crane! Carries. The crane! Absolute... Oh. oh, my God! That crane has decided so many games. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, in both tournaments, 3v3 and 1v1, the crane's yeah. crazy. Crane it's amazing MVP. that crane tech keeps coming up. We as a community, you should name the crane. Name yeah, that left well, crane. Well, there's two of them. We need two names. We need two names for the crane. We should do like like, like Randall in Melee, you know? It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> nice kicks. What about winner's crane and loser's crane? Oh my god, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! It's winner's racket, loser's racket. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, has, Reset hasn't popped their expansion yet, have they? Because they have the expansion unlocked. No, no, the Reset has popped their expansion. Wait, my stupid. Yeah, yeah. Reset popped their expansion. Uh, C9 has not, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it'd be so cool if there was a little indicator of that on the screen. Oh, it'd be awesome. I would love yeah. that. Oh, big damage! Let's hit him up against some big Reset hasn't used it. It was, it was, it was C9 who used it. Well, I'll be. That's an AP advantage, a stagger advantage, and they both have VPMs, so that'll trade. Unless it can be dodged, C Knight knows how to do it. Yeah, exactly. C Knight looks up at the missiles, flies through them. That's the move. Mm -hmm. Yep, you've got to get them to deactivate their homing by flying close enough to them, like with all missiles. But with VPMs, they have a pretty close range where that starts to happen, so it's trickier to do. Mm -hmm. Mimir, uh, so kicks, kicks last a lot. The cat kickbox lasts a lot longer than uh, when it's visually there. That's what's happening. The key, the key cat box lasts a long ass time. Too long, yep, some would say even. Wow. And there it is. I think VPMs finished it up. They did. They parried the initial impact, but the AOE just chipped them down. That was awesome. Is this semifinal? It is. Uh, it is losers semis, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, lo losers. Uh, no, 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 it's uh, it's not losers semis yet. Losers semis is next round. This is top five. We have Disco, we have C Knight, we have Risa, we have Tiku, and we've got Zachary left. Those are the last five players that we have left. All right, game two of Risa versus. Oh my god, my short term memory is something else, isn't it? C Knight. C -Knight. Yeah, it, dude, it's been <laughs> it's been ten hours and twenty minutes, homie. We can we 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 are allowed to have short term memory be bad. Yeah, Risa versus C Knight versus the Pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best of three. Yeah, best of three. So if Risa wins this, and that's game, that's game. And C Knight is out of the tournament. So this is C Knight's last tournament, last uh, last game potentially. Yo, the footsies are crazy right now. Ooh, but those are in Zid Ricochet. We're just trying to get away without using terminal armor or pulse armor. I mean. Ooh, that was a beautiful oh, kick from C Knight! God, in range for both hammer hits, that's painful. Yep, C Knight knowing that at that point, if it gets shielded, it's just gonna overheat the shield. That's when you need to be super aggressive into a shield player. Oh, the VPMs! That's one face for C Knight. Oh, Nino Teresa died to a bad fall. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh my gosh. 
This is a terrifying match. This is legitimately just terrifying. Like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna end. I'm just excited to watch. Yeah. Lucky as we are to be watching this crazy level of gameplay right now. Best seats in the house. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, for, the for kick to of, parry, the kick to parry. For all of its problems, Armor Core 6 is such a cool fucking eSport, dude. And it is generally an eSport. This is a thousand dollar tournament. I think we qualify. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm happy to see shields at this level of play being extremely popular because they've been such a miss in other games in the series. But they, they add a level of skill to the game that I think is really interesting to watch. Parry timing is really cool, yeah. Ooh, see that getting away? Fights. Like, look at how long these fights are going. We've, so, we've seen so many 30 second fights. Right. And this is devastating firepower both these ACs are bringing, so it's it's definitely your right. It's the shield prolonging these matches to a really exciting level. Very much yep, so. That was, a, that was a double zim that would have been a, a clapping, but instead it was just kind of fizzled. Yeah. The kick! Nice kick! See, I've been trying to play with the uh, Plasma Thor recently, and Risa makes me not like the weapon that much, because she'll just <laughs> kick. <laughs> she'll just kick. Ooh, that was a very smart- right there! That, that hammer was Ooh. so good from C-Knight. Can we talk about that for a moment? C-Knight anticipated the kick and just went for it. And just went for the hammer. Just went for it! Just, just threw it out there, and it connected. Because Risa was going straight towards them, because they had to. They had to land that kick. And oh if Risa just God. had a sliver more AP, they did land the kick through the thrower, as Dirk was just saying. It's fucking crazy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that was so close. I'm actually getting a cramp in my neck from looking at my monitor from so close. I'm leaned forward in my chair. Yeah, yeah I wish you hadn't yeah. said that, because now I feel the crick in my neck. I was going to say, yeah. I, I'm tingling, but I think it's, yeah, from sitting for too long, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Also yeah, an excitement. We, how about we cast this one standing, guys? I'm standing up. Yep. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm standing up. All right. So if Risa versus C Knight, I'm going to have my hand on the D key real quick. My microphone is stretching out a little bit, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> this is so weird. All right. Yo, Risa aggressing. Very much so. Ooh, C Knight's taking a lot of damage here, and a lot of stagger build too. We're still landing the exams. Expertly shielded the hammer. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Ooh, the kick lands again. C Knight almost at half AP. We're still getting away, landing there. Add to do cover kick in. Every little bit of impact impacts the body matters here, chat. Every That's little a bit. Hefty AP, hefty AP lead. Look at that. Risa Dude, didn't even so chase. Cool. Got him nope. to run, didn't even chase. That was oh, an impact wow. boost in right there. Reset, I assault booster for like 2.5 seconds. Less than that, actually. Like 0.5 seconds. And got the assault boost on the Zam. Yep. Push Risa, the button, then shoot. Risa knows that this is the, this is this might be their last game and is pulling out all the stops here. They're playing immaculately. Dual Zam, two another kick. kick. Risa, certainly suppose someone comes out. So does C Knight's AP is about the, the same. Got a lot closer there. Yeah. C Knight's supposed to goes down first. Kick! Dual Zim! Parry on the parry on C Knight! This is Dual Zim! Oh, we're six first face! God. This could Just be before C the hammer came up. This could be C Knight's last tournament phase. This could be it right here, chat. Can't be greedy with that plasma thrower. Cannot throw that when you're at high stability. Because this... like I said, Risa will just kick, and if that kick staggers, it's combo time. It is Crimson. This is one this is one to one. Phase lead Risa on a best of three game. Wow, Risa laying on that pressure that is just so hard to deal with because of their incredible movement. We have yep. AP lead. Their, their attitude ability, their attitude ability is really, really high though. They gotta watch out. There's a kick, and there's the hammer. Hammer AP is normalized. On a staggered target there for a big chunk. That hammer was so good from C Knight. Again, just learning from the- Oh, the double kick! They both kicked what? each other! <laughs> they both hammer, kicked holy. The... They both kicked each other! Oh one my one. god! Thank you, Dirk. Got it. Dude, I can't- <laughs> I cannot believe that! <sighs> no way! The standing Zim- First kick lands. 
I saw this is him in the kick. One's him shot. Staggered. Kick. Duel's him. Kick to shoot. stop the hammer. Wait, did that Crazy. Break the shield? That broke the shield. See, now I can't parry. But we still can't capitalize on it. They have to get away. Get the attitude to come, come down. That was an unshielded Zimmer that came through. Big chunk of AP gone. Huge. This is a very comfortable lead right now. That broken shield might have cost him. That cost him uh, seen the entire tournament. Right there. Dual kicks again. Pair on the kick. Getting the stagger. Bit of direct hit punish. Reese getting away with their expansion intact. Ooh, not intact. Taking a bunch of damage to the rear as they try to get away. Oh, very good kick by Z Knight. She still has her shield. Oh, man. This is anybody's game right here. Oh, no, it's not. It's Reese's game. It's Reese's game. Wow. It's not anyone's game. It's Reese's game. The, <sighs> the happy, the happy <sighs> camera shake. I love it. Well done, Risa both players. That was it. so close. That Incredible was fight. Fucking insane. Incredibly good game. Oh my god. Even my cat's excited. He's on my, his feet. My heart, chat. My heart. Oh my god. Uh, final results are the, the the same. Lethal force. I'm loving this new paint job Risa put together for the tournament. I've never seen it before, so I'm assuming it was it's brought so out good. for today. It's so good. Very cool, yeah. I saw it because I saw the boat submission, but... <laughs> this is a paint uh, job no, that they've used in our previous ACs, but in yellow and not red. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh-oh. Uh, these were just for fun? No, the, no, this is, this, is, this is the actual bracket. The Swiss bracket was to qualify for this. This is the real tournament. Uh, that all black quad hovering around with all the boosters going, they really nailed the look of this game. The, the, the Swiss will the Swiss will matter. The Swiss will matter for the uh, the end of season. At the end of December, I'll have a, a list of all of like the top 100 players or top uh, 30 or something like that. Early stagger and hammer punish. And that's a big AP lead Ooh. for TQ. Bruce are very, very hurt here. Yep, gonna try to get that stagger down and manages to avoid every single missile. It's kind of really impressive even. Oh, missed the player in the Morleys! Oh, the hammer! Devastating. Uh, unfortunate. Yeah, top 30 probably well jammed. Not uh, not top 100. <laughs> yeah, double Morleys are murder at close range. Yeah, Risa might have met her at Ru Ru Shady. Definitely keep that up. People of all kinds play uh, play Armored Core. Not just, not just male gamers. <laughs> No, in my basement, him. it might have been that. That's because our sister was lame and didn't want to play Armored Core with us. But that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your sister's great, Dirk. She has a, a happy family, and I don't, so. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that pulse armor just getting ripped to shreds by that, uh, by that hammer. Good lord. A AP lead now getting shortened. Oh! Yeah. Kicks back and forth, a lot of damage falling up right after the kicks, man. It is fast and furious up close. Oh, the kick missed! I think no! The kick missed. That's huge! Rough, rough positioning during that stagger. Uh oh. Oh! And down they, they go. Hammer. This is best of five, by the way. I didn't even mention that. Yep. Oh, let me take off the expression. The Showing off why it's so good with the hammer because it can scoot even if it hits you at the edge of the range with the first hit It can follow you during the knockback unlike bipeds where you kind of just stuck there and you knock them out of your own range The quad just slides up and follows up. Oh my gosh Where's grand finals in a probably about an hour or so probably something like that probably a while You have a lot more fights to go through Ban xylem tq says All right racer where are we going? So I'm uh, crunching the numbers here. 2,900 impact on the double Morley, assuming optimal damage. If they hit with uh, both. I'll, I'll tell you at, at the end of the tournament, Lethal Force. Can't do that right now. Jorgen, back to Jorgen, all right. So yeah, 2,900 stability. Uh, if you, even if you take only 2, like 2,900 stability? That, yeah, wait, if, that's a double Morley. That's both of them combined, uh, all the oh. shots hitting. 2,900. For a second, I thought you were talking about TQ's build having 2,900 attitude stability. I was like, excuse me. No, no. Ch someone check their PC, please. Someone, someone, <laughs> someone check their game. Excuse me. <laughs> Computer inspect the files. 
For real oh though, uh, those Morleys, even if you shield them, are <laughs> brutal. I'm glad to hear it, Lethal. ACS dagger. Never heard of it. <laughs> oh. Computer deactivate Agona. Oh. This is it. Versus versus Tiku. This is uh this is loser semis that we are right now. That's where we're at. Winner of this fight's Hawami, the winner of that fight's uh Disco. This is loser semis. Kick connects, dual zim. Barely not staggering though. Oh my god. Oh, the Morley's nasty. That is, that quad reminds me kind of like a porcupine. <laughs> okay. It's not like, it's not very good what? at catching you, really. If you just walk away from it, what? you're going to have a good time, whatever. <laughs> what? But when you go and you poke it, look at what happens. Dozem, kick, Dozem. That's going to be it. Right there. Wow. Risa takes a phase. Reese is showing that the, the, saying, showing the internet problems are not going to ice them out. <laughs> she can do this. And Tiku, honestly, amazing performance there. Like, I, I am excited. The double Morley to the face is so good. Like, that, that weight change really did matter. You know, I said, I said that Morley didn't get what it needed, but maybe FromSoft just knows the game better than I do. Goddamn. It really didn't. <laughs> Need to do more stability damage or anything. It, the numbers speak for themselves. Right. It was just always tough Ooh. to fit. That's how I felt about it. Oh. Yo, Tiku taking this one right back with the devastating kicks and the Morley combos, followed by the hammer. It's just a lot of firepower coming out of their face. Oh, the kick! Ouch! One phase, one phase. Oh. These are fast matches. Holy shit. They're very fast matches. I mean, yeah, wait for Grand Finals where it's a rat in Grand Finals, winner's side. <laughs> yeah, after Disco and uh, Hiwami, this is a completely different feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Missing the Morley shot. That's pretty huge. We used to get staggered. Morley's coming out again. Those were so... That's so much damage. We still has her yep. expansion. And Tiku resets that big stagger gauge oh. for the pulse armor. The MLT 04 is really taking, really actually all landing. Oh, the pulse armor comes out too late. Tiku takes pulse. the game. All right, Tiku, what's your ban? Remember the game, this is a best of five. Risa has one more tournament match remaining. This could be Risa's last tournament match. Let's see what happens. Risa Tiku. Gonna go down as one of the more rough and tumble fast matches in the whole tournament. Mm -hmm. Each one of these rounds has gone down pretty quickly as soon as they tangle up. Yeah, sub one minute. It's been pretty crazy. Tiku, really showing that you don't have to have a shield be viable in this meta, which is honestly really cool. Yeah, just have 2,200 stability. <laughs> yeah. Your shield I mean, is your body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Risa really taking their time with this one. I wonder if we might see Tiku try a shield in the future. I wonder if Tiku just hasn't spent the time with it. Because shields are one of those things where you do need to develop the practice. True. You know, get your timings down, learn how to flutter shield and when to do it. This MLT is actually finding home there. We're choosing to kind of rat out Tiku here, which honestly is a very good idea. Yep, capable of playing both both ways very, very adeptly. Ooh, the Morley's big Morley shot. Partial Damn. land. When you take the Morley's with your assault boost bonus, though, it really helps take the edge off. With the, such a high number, you reducing it by probably four or five hundred stability damage. Definitely. I mean, it's a, it's a third percent decrease in the impact damage. Just pretty damn in, 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 like important here. 
Yep. And especially just making some of the shots hit, because it's a spread weapon in a shotgun sense, getting distance while you're dodging can reduce the damage as well, even if you don't full dodge it. When you're at an empty stagger bar, that's sufficient. Thing is, the VBMs are also really consistent hitting the squads because they have that really big body hitbox. Very true. That's a nice uh, bonus to the Zimmermans here. To any weapon, really, but the Zimmermans the just so much more. That was so important! And now, now Tika's expansion is gone. We're sticking some MLTs in the back there. That's very, that's very important. Every bit of AP matters here, chat. Man, you just probably... stall out the entire shield. Yeah. And Reese is probably one of the only bipedals that we've seen who can manage to counter kick a fucking tetrapod. It is wild to watch. Reese is the best happen. kicker in the game. 1000%. Best kicker in the game. Reese with that little camera spin as well. Reese <laughs> takes the first phase. Oh. Reese to the honorary rat gang. Man, I'm oh. Super engaged with Tiku's gameplay here. I think Honestly, squads yeah. look cool as hell. <laughs> Yeah, and just seeing double Morleys at this stage of the game is fucking awesome. It's very, very yeah, cool. are interesting, too, because, like, you can take the hammer and you can move while using it. Sure, yeah, we know about that. It's great. But thinking about it further, you can run Basho Arms, take the missile, whatever. But you can still use your backslot weapons more like a standard weapon. Unlike Risa a lost biped. The, Risa has lost the AP Ooh. lead here. What Risa might need to do is just, like, rat at the beginning of the phase instead of the end. Cause like yeah, the Tiku's not forced to come near you if you don't rat, but at the same time you have to think about the mental game there. So you oh, just you just wear them into down a kick and do another Whoa! Zimmerman timed out extremely well. That reload is long. Oh, and that Risa was a takes the game. Effort to have it ready. Oh, Risa takes the game. Risa is so smart. Holy shit! The brain is massive. Risa takes the game. It is two one gamers. This is why we have best of fives when it gets to the actual named rounds. Risa, our queen. <laughs> This is a small, small map, goes without saying. So, shotgun, assault boost build against Morley's in a confined space. This is going to be short. Oh, yeah. I'm just doing the mental math here. Unless they do really funny uh, circle kiting around those cars at the uh, outside, it's going to be short. Yeah, I agree with that. It's like, I know, I know we're talking a lot about Risa here. Uh, but Tiku is just an incredible player. Like, good lord. Bringing double Morley all the way here, that's insanity to me. The timing on the Morley shots is everything. It's a short reload, sure, but the recoil on them is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It's a <gasps> Tiku! big vulnerability. Do you see where Tiku is right now? This could be a galaxy brain play. <gasps> oh, devastating Morley shot there. Fuck. Good timing. Yeah, speaking of the timing. The Morley's it's right back. Five seconds. Count oh! Them. Wow. Oh my god. That turned the ceiling like a spider? As like a spider? Exactly. A decisive strike. Oh my gosh. This could be Reese's tournament phase right now, gamers. This could be it. I love this, this play around the ceiling cover. This map is. Is it unique? Uh. And having ceiling cover. Yes. It's got those cards up there. It's it got the scaffolding. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, no Morley's though. The Morley's were not able to activate. Risa was able to kick them away. Risa in the hole right, right now. AP advantage. But on a map like this, can you rat? Barely. Hey, barely is enough, I think. You know, you yeah. extend that timer like that. Morley's activating. Pulse armor. Good time there. No big punish during the animation. Risa back to wait for those Morleys. Dodging the Morleys. Let's oh, catch the, Morleys. the hammer, though. AP advantage. Stagger high for both players. Risa staggered. Oh, Risa goes down. Ooh. Just barely. Look at that AP from Tiku. Sliver. And it's A over. Sliver. Tiku moves on to losers finals with Hawami. <laughs> Jeez, Three to one, and it was a battle. Yeah. I think those Majestics are going to have a really easy time hitting the Quadruped. Oh, yeah, definitely. And there's regardless no sure to parry them. How, yeah, regardless of how well-timed the dodges are. No, I will say, y'all know what the uh, the defense that got gutted the most on wheelchair was in patch 1.0 3.1? Is it explosive? Ex explosive defense. Wow. And guess what uh -oh. Tiku has? 
Yeah. <laughs> that probably sounded awful in the mic, but Tiku has some pretty powerful explosive weaponry. They've got yeah, the bada boom. Pulse shield's gonna have to save the day a few times here, I think. Oh yeah, especially against that hammer. Oh, look at that! Double, double stagger. stagger. Double stagger. It's very unfortunate very for Tiku. Just for Hiwami right now. Hiwami, look at Hiwami stagger though. It's going down and back to normal. There you go. That's that's the that's the, uh, the relative light weight of the wheelchair acting there. How much attitude spoilty does uh, Hwami's both have? Let me check, actually. Probably something like 90, I'd imagine. Mm. Lower. 18, 90, maybe? I think he means the uh, recovery delay. Oh, oh 83, 83, uh -oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the attitude recovery, it's 83. And the facade to end it. Yeah, not a lot Tiku could do with that just a fifth of his AP left. Well, Hawami had almost two thirds. Yeah. Yeah, trying to close in on this build with these weapons, with that shield, with Hawami. Let me check. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Tiku's pronouns are. They don't have them listed. That's fine. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I'm going to turn up music for this. <laughs> Tiku. Music turn up a little bit. A very cautious start to this match. We're over 30 seconds in and there's been very little damage happening between both players. MLT4 showing its value. It might end up being the tickle tool that Tiku <laughs> needs to make Hiwami come over. <laughs> More slash Lee is really good. Tiku's tickle tool. That's fantastic, Dick. Well done. Thank oh you. my god. Unpaid, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid, by the way. Look, when I see it, if I ever see a profit from these tournaments, then I'll, I'll share it with y'all. No, being being funny is the only reason I'm here. I'm here to have fun. Yeah. This is I a mean... blast in and of itself. And it's funnier if I'm unpaid, Ooh. so I'm on board. Big damage from Tiku, though. It is actually uh, Kadoza. It is from High Five Rush. Good game. Need to actually play it. I like the music though. Bullshit <laughs> popped. Big AP difference now. That was a heavy punish from Tiku. Tiku might win this game. That little stare. That little stare as they both thought about going in on each other was so cool. <laughs> Just a little pause to think. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And on the clock. And with your forces not hit, yeah, minute, yeah, minute left exactly, Dirk. The backward, the, the, what the, 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 what the, the Chad move of going backwards towards your opponent? Excuse me, what is this, Smash Brothers? That kick around the spaceship was so crazy. <laughs> Hawami was gonna kill. Yeah. Hawami was gonna hit them with the fucking back air or something. What the fuck? That was insanity. Excuse me. Someone clip that kick. What? That was <laughs> so cool. Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Just sliding over the spaceship. No big deal. Quad things. That was so cool! Let's watch Tiku for this match. These might be a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We're gonna turn a little bit. All right, awesome. we're back to the spaceport stare down. Every single round on this thing seems to have this phase where both players have no idea where the other's gone. Oh yeah, that, this this map is way too big from software. Please make it smaller. Maybe two ships Maybe instead like, of three. Yeah, two ships. Or we just add a two ship variant. We need more maps. I'd be down. I'd be super down. Yeah. Give me two ship a and a one ship. I'd be super down. Yeah, it's not even like there's a map rotation where it would get annoying. You just pick the one you like. It's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Or having like a stage hazard switch, like in Smash, make the ships possibly destructible if you want them to be. That could be cool too. Oh yeah. my god, could you imagine? That would be. Th this map would be so weird. <laughs> it would be. Watch point with extra steps. All we really need 
is a modded multiplayer mode, you know? Why yeah. do we have a custom lobby search without mod support for multiplayer? Yeah. Be cool. Anyway, back Just to the match. Question. We yeah. got time for the match, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 looks like they're done with the stare down now. Yep, facade yeah. shot coming out early. Save it for armor cast. <laughs> Tiku looking a lot worse for wear. Ooh! The facade landing, doing a lot of damage. Look at that! I would love if anyone could dig into this, but it seems like the last tick on the facade does extra damage. Like the first and the last. Interesting. I, I have no way of verifying that. It might just be the way <laughs> latency and damage calculations are working out. Sure. Ooh, Ooh. big facade. Huami was so close to being staggered there. That would have been huge. Oh. And Tiku goes down and Huami wins the first game. Oh. The Fasan, Probably. going for the manual aim Fasan. Did not land it. Trying to snipe early. Craft I like it though. That thing kicks so much ass. Yeah. It's so fast. Whoa. Rude. What they didn't land. We, oh. we talked about, talk about how like all long range weapons are like, you know, bad in armored core. Like, have y'all tried manual aim Fasan? Good lord, bro. It, yeah, it does take a, a specific skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cannot just lock your opponent and send out a shot. The smallest acceleration in any direction is going to send that thing sailing wide. You have to have that human intuition to guide that shot in. And because they're using twin majestics, having to differentiate between the two, because you're probably going to want the majestics <gasps> to lock on. You could manual that shield's them broken. Up. Guys, that shield's broken. That's a broken shield. Tiki wants to get in now. Yeah. Oh, they didn't notice! No, they didn't oh, notice the shield was broken! Oh, man. Tiku popped pulse armor and then went away. I'm very confused. Might be, might be tournament stress. Yeah, I was gonna say, their mental's uh, probably on quite a thin rope here. Yep, very late for both of these people. Ooh, dodging right through the missiles. That was really sick. Ooh! Ooh. Big kicks. And down they go. Wow. All right, phase two. Let's see it. Good missile dodge early. Another one. Well, are we not going to let themselves get ratted with that one MLT-04? Another one. Back to back to back. Perfect play around the missiles. We talked about uh, we talked about mental game that earlier. That was very sick. Just snuck up around the cover, <laughs> popped off a shot, and dropped right back down. That was so slippery. God, Wami's movement is just absolutely fantastic. It's kind of insane, even. Yeah. But we talked about mental game a little bit earlier, and honestly, in the back of the, the both these players lost to lost to Disco. So you have to think of like in the back of their heads, they know like I'm gonna have to fight Disco after this. Even if I do win, I have to fight Disco. Maybe One they of the forgot. Best Maybe players. you reminded them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they better not have comms on. Are you kidding me? During this? Yeah, that would be insane. No, no, no you're no, you're, you're focused. You keep commentary muted. You keep my, keep my ass muted, please. <laughs> Looks like. Kawami's got a pretty sizable AP lead. Doing great job of avoiding these MLT4s. It seems like they've increased their focus on that. There's less odd chip coming through than a lot of the other matches we've seen. Yeah, and with Huami's shield play, it's not really up to Tiku to make something out of this lead, but up to Huami to make a mistake and to Tiku to capitalize on that, because their parry game is just outstanding. I'm uh... concerned. I... I'm oh. a bit concerned about that. It didn't really happen you know, at that? a pivotal time. I mean, it might have just been the odd spike. That was strange. I don't think right? anything oh. missed there. Yeah, that was, that was strange. Oh boy, that Fasan at close range does not miss. Ooh, good damage from Tiku though. This is gonna be enough though. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, the one Majestic fired home just eradicated their pulse armor, and now they've got their expansion out of pocket. It's going to be tough. 
You know, without your expansion, I'm not sure if you can bring this back. You get some player like Kawami with a shield? I lose his final slam. Oh! Good damage! Oh, but the parry! They oh. missed the parry! <laughs> they missed the second parry! Oh. Dang. Tico That's takes a lot it. of damage. Tico <laughs> takes it! Did they either miss the second parry or just barely killed them? Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Down to a hair yet again. Uh, Disco did bless Skeleton, one of the best rap players in the entire world. Rat god. Yeah, the, the rat, even. The giant rat who makes all of the rules, even. Is mm -hmm. waiting for them in Drain Finals. It's a rodent of unusual size. Exactly. Early chip going right around the back of Hawami. Perfect dodge yet again. Oh. Dropping Look, down. Dropping with the double wally is so good! Look how much damage they just did! Oh, that second swing was a bad, bad choice. Yep, the Why? hammer got shielded and the reply was heavy. Exactly, yes. As he's around to recover, kick it in there. God, wheelchair's weight is so good. Even with this really, like, decently heavy AC, you still have 83 attitude recovery. Which means your, your impact doesn't. Uh, get back goes down decently quick. <gasps> good damage with the mini sacker! Oh, parried the hammer. Was it the MLT 04s that caused the mini sacker? I... I have no idea. Can they? I know Morley's can turn invisible in Spectator. <sighs> Music change? Yeah, I agree. Here we go. We're back to this tra chip trading game again. Kawami showing that these MLT4s are just not going to work. Yeah, they've just got a little too much ground speed for those MLTs to land consistently. and uh, Plenty of room to scoot on this map. Yeah, a lot of room for Kawami to move around those missiles. But Tiku just can't engage in the upfront, otherwise the Fasan and the Majestics just punish them so hard. Mm -hmm. Anytime they try to extend a combo, if it doesn't work out quite right, uh, they just have a huge, huge amount of damage coming at them. They might get full staggered because double majestic plus Fasan is enough. Full staggered. Ooh, there it goes. Oh. Gee, Down gee. to the wire, but Huami takes the game too. Ooh, yeah, one EU, one NA, and one Japan. That's so cool. Yeah, honestly, I, the people can play with the game that kind of a lot, but like, good lord, man, that's so cool, right? That's awesome. Cross region can play to can play together, which is really cool. Finish dollar. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what finish money is called. It's probably something goofy. <laughs> I'm joking. Imagine I'm joking. on the euro. The euro. Oh, okay. Oh, then you, it, it wasn't goofy. I'm wrong. <laughs> I say because one of my mods is finished. I like bullying them, by the way. Yo, oh, damn. Speaking of, wait, speaking of yep. bullying, that hammer doing bu just bullying him on his health bar. Oh my god, and the facade doing right back. Yeah, that AP lead got shortened real quick. Hammer direct hit damage on Basho arms, though. Dang, that was just massive chunks. Yeah. All it takes is getting through Hawami's uh, shield, which has six activations and yeah. stability. And past the bazookas <laughs> and the plasma cannon. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty difficult, yeah. What was that interaction, bro? They just like ran, they just ran around each other. What was that ringing around the rosy shit? That was awesome. Whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh. Tiku takes the first phase. Tiku behind the fridge. Wait, 68,786.10 yen for the win. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the number go crazy. Ooh, the snipe! Tico took damage from that. Oh, we can see Hawami. Hawami's woken up. Hawami's woken up. Did you see that? You still get this movement. Ooh, Hawami's getting their second wind! 
They are it's not like getting that. third place. It is not happening. Team One, we're saying you read no. You are... saw the number. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, this would be a worthwhile side quest in a Yakuza game. <laughs> the prize pool kind of went crazy. Yeah, it really did. Honestly, again, thank you all for that. And thank you to Subject, by the way. Subject who uh, who donated $500 by themselves to this tournament, which is insanity. Sponsored by Subject. And Subject 7 um, and a few other people I can't I can't name. I need a, I need a slogan. Oh, by the way, if you do want to sponsor future tournaments, hit me up in the Discord. I will talk to you about it. I'm not sure what my next events will be. Probably something that limits builds in some, in some way. If people do want some sort of lightweight tournament and stuff like that, so I might check that out. Oh Scooting my god, out, man. Oh, man. That's funny. I love this cover usage right here. <laughs> Look at that, dude! Scoots out, shoots right back in. <laughs> There's a joke to be made by a, a wheelchair player hiding behind a ramp, but I don't know if I could have the heart to make it. Not, <laughs> not today. Today we just admire <laughs> how be, cool that cover usage was. It, cause it's too dang. insensitive of a joke. I'm, I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, the joke doesn't really have any legs to stand on. Brother. But shut the fuck up, Mugo! <laughs> AC, AP leads strongly in Hawami's favor. Might be able yeah. to make this uh, phase three match if they can That's... keep it. On. Oh I don't my know, man. god, English. Rugo. These guys I'm, are crazy. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dead. Good night. Good night, chat. I'm dead. I decided to die on stream. This is the deathbed stream we all talk about. This is it. I don't think you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's TOS. Back into the cover spot. Here we go. Dude, the scooting and looting, man. Hawami is just nailing that movement. Yep, we great just use of the quick boost to switch directions. Right back in the cover. 50 you seconds left. Peek. Tico has to make a play. Tico you has can to peek make a play. incredibly aggressively in this game for it not being a first person shooter. I, oh, yeah. I think you can peek faster in this game than Rainbow Six, but uh, I don't have the numbers <laughs> to prove it. Oh my god. That's awesome. God, I love the movement from Hawami. This is ridiculous, dude. Dude, it's so hard for Tiku to keep up with because they're just using all these strange movements around weird pieces of cover, and Tiku just can't find a way around it without taking Majestics to the face. Exactly. It, it's like... I, I, oh, closing it. Closing it. They have to make a play. Oh, the stun! That's actually so huge! Morley's are so crazy, dude. Whoa! <laughs> AP lead back in Hawami's favor with five seconds on the clock. Tico has the to go. Tico has to go. Ready, Tico just has to. Oh! Whoa. There goes the face. He got actually dying at the end. Damn. Yeah, that was a facade moment. Yeah. And I think they fired a bazooka at almost the same time, canceled it, and fired the facade. But I, I'm not sure. That might have just been some weird animation stuff. That's going to need to be inspected. Prasanti, I did not put. I come, come on, guys, calm down. <laughs> oh, fascinating! Oh my God, Bones, Bones. <laughs> the peekaboo from Tiku, that was so funny, but it, it, that much he didn't land. But man, that was really funny. The controller on the ledge there was incredible. Just right up to the edge, shoot right back. The sun's out for Hawami. Back to dodging Dude. missiles perfectly. I could watch that all day. Hawami's cover Make that a is screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Hawami's movement is just ridiculously good. Like, can we talk? Like, look, look at that. Like, that wheelchair is moving, dude. I don't know if I'm more impressed by that or Tico's ability to not immediately die against this build with a quadruped. <laughs> that takes some incredible dodging skill to get that big of an AC and that heavy of an AC out of the way of these big projectiles and these fast projectiles. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Like, I know this was uh, this was Tico's canopy, but the map has been so nice for Hawami. I think it's just how Hawami uses it. This, the, the stancing and around that's... edges like that. Game. That is game, gamers. GG. Holy shit. We are now at Grand Finals. But good game to TQ. Taking a weapon that I legit thought was unviable and making it to third place. That's insane. That is legitimately insane. Like, I am I am blown away by that. I am blown away. That, that, that's so freaking cool to me. That's so freaking cool. And now we have Finland has fallen. 
We now have America versus Japan. First, I would not Disco down to win the harder bracket. Exactly, yes. Basically, um, Disco hasn't lost yet. Hasn't lost a set yet. In this tournament. In, in this top 16. Ooh, the snipe! That's so much damage! That was a fully charged oh for someone's sake! That was mid -land. Oh From my god! Downtown. Oh. oh my god! And not relax. You can't just sit, you can't sit on the perch. It's not safe anymore. No, it's not. Not to play with Kawami, who's been very, very good at manual aiming. I know there's gonna be people on YouTube who just swapped to this grand finals with Disco versus Kawami. Already happened. Kawami did actually lose their first set of the entire tournament to Disco's rat. Very, very strong rat. A very, like, untraditional rat, but it's working very well for a rat-based playstyle, but not against Hawami at the moment. Look at that. Hawami has not taken any AP. damage. Commentator's curse. Yep, as we say at the Nebula lands. Back to back. This is close to a stagger. Then it's a snack. I do have a kick it in. stalled it out well enough. Right behind the cover. No, I do want to say also, so Disco plays a very, uh, very strong keyboard game called Ratting. I want to, again, explain this for the YouTube viewers that get us up to the end. Now, Disco played a very, very, this is playing a very defensive game called Ratting at the moment. And they've been doing this this entire tournament. Right now, the stream is, is 11 hours and 39 minutes long. Disco must be tired. Playing an extremely defensive playstyle, extremely patient playstyle. For 11 hours? Are you kidding me? Oh, where'd and that AP lead go? The, the, the Nebula. Nebula does so Nebula. much damage still, even after the nerf. Seems to be working incredibly well against the shield, too. I wonder if that was part of why it was picked. Maybe. I mean, but probably will hit behind it. Are they both manual aiming? They're both manual aiming, Kefka. They are both manual aiming. Yep, at these ranges and speeds, the FCS does not know what to do. Well, see, here's the interesting distinction, is that... Uh, Disco can manual aim the whole thing and all of his missiles will lock on. He doesn't really have to switch back and forth, but Hawami has to probably switch to use the Majestics. Yeah, I think I've seen Hawami switching. There was a bazooka shot just a moment ago that was almost definitely an FCS shot, the way the arm moved Ooh. for it. Disco's so close to getting staggered here. If they get staggered, it's over, but I think they still have the pulse armor, right? Uh, unsure on that, but Hawami's also in the danger zone against some VPMs. Oh yeah, one volley just hit. Just gonna take one more volley. There it is. If they don't dodge MLT4 that. MLT four is two. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was the yep. MLT four is from the side. One oh, second. I, I see. This coast build. I think the uh, the balls in Hawami's court. Hawami's got to do something. Okay, that's what I thought. It is full summer. Okay, I was about to say, are they running terminal? Because I, I was thinking like that would. That'd be an extremely baller move by Disco, the rock terminal on a rat build. But the thing I need to mention, Hawami is from Japan, and they've been up for like over 18 hours. Oh yeah, it's currently like credit. It's currently like 11 a.m. for them right now, if not if not later. You know what is rat build? So, a rat is a, rat is a play style that before a, a big patch came through. Uh, was this a lightweight AC, as light as you possibly can make it, as fast as possible, just shoots missiles at you and plays very defensively? That has evolved, like, Disco has taken this playstyle, which they were very, very good at, and just completely evolved it to a heavyweight biped with a nebula on coral gen. Where the entire idea is just to run the hell away from you, and chip you down, and play the timer. Because the timer, how it works, is that you have three minutes to beat your opponent. And if you wait, if you, if you wait long enough, Whoever, wherever that, or, that arrow is pointing at, loses. So right now, Hawami has less AP than Disco does. That is the whole idea. A battle of attrition. Yes, exactly. But the thing is, rats used to be lightweight, meaning that if you caught them, they would just die. But because they're doing it on the heavy biped, it's harder to run away. They have a much, they have a higher chance of getting hit, but they have way more defenses. Which means that yep, now Hawami has to catch them even more. It's going to take back-to-back -back Majestic shots, or Majestic and Fasana. Actually, I'm not even sure if the Majestic plus Fasana can do it. It's like a tank version of a rat, which is really, honestly, pretty dang cool. In a way, they both are. We've seen games where Hawami is using that speed to keep distance from dangerous close combat builds. Exactly, Derek. Yes, the arrow points towards the loser. 
I keep thinking you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're Dirk. They're Derek. Different. I know. I, <laughs> that's my error. <laughs> Giant enemy rat. Those, those manual oh, ambulances, man. That is insanity. Plasma missiles? All right, man. So they usually do, like, 20 damage. <laughs> but when the enemy's staggered like that, we just saw what they can actually do. Ooh, good lord. Someone <laughs> hiding with a plasma rifle? The most okay. diabolical rat I've ever seen. A dastardly rodent of unusual size versus a wheelchair warrior. I'm gonna have to go and tell Bitey that a, a free aim Nebula build was in finals. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, someone tell Bitey who's been extremely pessimistic this entire tournament that two builds that are using free aim as their main source of damage are in grand finals. You know what's also crazy? Two long range sniping builds. Huh. Weird, right? Yeah, that uh, that that fries me a little bit, <laughs> but I'm uh, loving it. A sniping meta? I mean, it's it's the biggest tournament we've ever had for the game, so I guess. <laughs> I'm okay with accepting that. I'm just not good enough at it yet. <laughs> Look, I'm a commentator. I, I'm not a player, dude. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. The days of old school uh, AC, where uh, long range play like this, sniping play was extremely viable. Now we're seeing it resurge, man. It's coming back. Maybe even remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was a sniper rifle oh. that was actually banned to bring two of. <laughs> In what game? Third gen. Might have been AC3 or Silent Line. Damn. So I'm pretty sure people played Silent Line PvP quite a bit. This goes very close to getting staggered, but Azure Recovery is going to keep it any second now. There it is. They just can't keep up the pressure. SRF70 was banned in Silent Lion, TM Raven says. Nice. The old noggin's still running. <laughs> I played uh, PvP with a buddy recently, and we used a uh, tournament rule set. Man, Disco is just ratting out of their mind, man. It's crazy that they almost never, or do they never touch the ground? They very, very rarely do. And the crazy thing is, again, it's been 11 hours this tournament's been running. 11 hours Disco's in the been, air. Disco's been doing this for 11 hours. The mental capacity on Disco is insane. Got enough fuel left in the tank. 20 seconds left. They're taking these to timer. We're going full length. Disco only touches the ground when he decides to grace it with his feet. The Rat King. <laughs> and there's the Pulse Armor, and that's game. 1,000%. The endurance is fire. It's 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 it's, 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 it's driving me insane. Like the the endurance on Disco to play an uber defensive game for eleven hours. I hear plague spreads faster when in the air. True. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I thought the facade landed, and I was gonna freak the fuck out. Uh oh, Hawami is in Disco's house right now. Consider a two-day split tournament so people can be more fresh for, so for finals. Yes, I actually would consider that in the future. A weekend-long event might be might be something we look into. Yeah. At We're, least for uh, really big like, tournaments uh, like this one. Placements in like the smaller tournaments during the weeks. Uh, I might do that. I I I will figure out how to work it. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes of twelve hours. Good lord, it's been a long ass stream. But it's also just one of the best streams. Thank you all so much for the support. Very much appreciate it. I think someone came in and said we had like over 300 viewers at one point. That's fucking incredible for me. Bring back 8 a.m. pools. True, Vines. <laughs> I'd wake up for it. <laughs> Just go trying to dumb fire missiles on the other side of the map. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. This no, is Gachi Cypress. This is just the thing is like this goes VPMs, right? The absolute second that that timer hits like 30 seconds, this just pops VPMs. I would expect maybe some more pot shots from Hawami. I mean, why not, right? Disco wins the timer at zero. Really? I mean, maybe Hawami is waiting to pop a lot of that damage when the timer is closer for a surprise AP lead. Yeah, I got out of magnifying glass. It is, in fact, in Disco's favor right now. <laughs> two hunters surveying each other. Two extremely patient players. Those, 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 Hawami got hit by the missiles. Disco has AP lead. All right, let's see the chase now. Chasing on the ground, smart. You don't need to go up until you're close enough. Disco took damage. What's he mean? This guy's moves that every single like micro like micro uh, calculation has been ca has been like thought about. Like Disco does not move without purpose. Every slight movement, every assault boost to the left or right is thought about and calculated. And yeah, and they're assault boosting as they do so, they side boost side to side to break FCS, uh, you know, hard lock on. And then as soon as they're done shooting, they fast fall while firing their missiles to continue to stay an evasive target. It's fucking incredible. Yeah, downward acceleration is incredibly powerful in this game. And Disco takes it. That's 2-0 for Disco. This could be the last game of the tournament, gamers. Wow. Could be the last game of the tournament. I feel it'd be a lot easier for the wheelchair to catch them, though, on grade 86. But Disco almost definitely banned that. I can actually check right now and see what they banned. Oh, yeah. They, they've already said they're going to continue to ban lower grid until the tournament's over. Yeah, I, I will continue to ban lower grid for every, tour every round. Yep, from the horse's mouth. Does not want to play it. All right. It's kind of weird to me, by the way, because we talked about the Japanese meta a little bit on uh, this week's Armored Cast, and Japan has a very defense, has a more like calculated meta. Like we're seeing Hawami play here with like the uh, the manual aim facade and stuff like that. And America has a much more aggressive meta, or at least it used to, until Disco decided to come around and play the most defensive playstyle ever and do extremely, extremely good with it, which is kind of awesome, right? We listened to Yamamura, and he he led us astray. <laughs> it's actually a kiting game. Right. For real though, though, uh, using all the tools to be able to do this, to using the recoil tool to stay in the air, and then vertical acceleration to dodge downwards after firing, it, it's all very interesting once you understand what's happening. It's so cool. Yes, he has bonds, yes. Huami is Emmanuel aiming the Majestics. Because they have to in this matchup. Oh. This is stressful. I can't imagine how Wami feels right now. Yeah, the AP lead is sitting pretty heavily right now in Disco's favor. Yeah, as people have said before, this is Disco's matchup to lose, basically. Redding is boring. I honestly hate that take. That take is just awful. Wrong. Wrong. Very well, much so. I mean, yeah. So you can be subjective about it, but if you want to be objective, no. Yeah, I mean, you, that, you can be subjective about it whatever, whatever you want, but... The fact that Disco has to keep this up is insane to me. Here we are, like, it's right like, around like, the end of the, the spaceship. That's like saying defensive playstyles are boring. It, it is like, it. this is a defensive playstyle. We're watching someone play defensively. That's fine. That's completely fine. And this rat build is incredibly high school. I couldn't fucking do this. Are you kidding me? I could not do this. You put me in, in, in Disco's position, I'm dead. Easily. The easiest yep. sweep from Wami. It's not even 9 ever. times out of 10, it's 10 times out of 10. Right at the map boundary. Like a speck in the distance. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. The consistency of the space they keep between their opponents is fucking 
Incredible. Mm. Untouchable. Majority of people find zoners boring? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's just, it's a zoning playstyle. It's a defensive playstyle. That is hap- that happens. Can we get a reply of Reese's matches with the kick? I mean, yes. That was a, that was a interesting match, but that was two very aggressive playstyles. This is an aggressive, long-range poking playstyle versus a defensive, long-range po range poking playstyle. This match is just the match. We're watching someone long-range poke versus long-range poke. That's what's happening. It's like, I don't know why people find that boring. That's just the matchup. Uh, some people find, like, football boring, and it's also the most popular sport in the world. True, good point. Good point, Dirk. Good point. You know, it's, you, you just might not <laughs> like it. I Every play that. style isn't bashing your head against the enemy is boring. I, You know what, Kriwi, you're right. You're right. I am such a fan of bashing my head against my enemy, it's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's also interesting I mean, about these builds is that- Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, what was that? What was that, Moogle? You go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say it's interesting these two builds is that uh, Disco actually went 7-2 and two in the initial Swiss, whereas Hawami didn't drop any best of threes. And mm -hmm. so there were there's clearly some counterplay happening to Disco's build earlier, as you were saying, even Ramen Rook's build. So this yeah. is just so many hours of practice into these two ACs that is showing so evidently right now, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Robux, the person who was complaining about rats, says, Remember, if you have to think, your playstyle is bad. You know what? Uh, Honestly, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's been my approach, and it works well for me. Ace combat theory. Yeah, rejecting core theory and embracing ace combat theory. Because <laughs> uh, core theory in the game was like aggressive fighting at close range with melee and stuff. How can Disco fly so long? They have Coral Gen plus Nebula, and what they're doing with this build is that they're stance, they're stancing up the Nebula, and while their Coral Gen's recharging, they're they're staying in the air with the Nebula stance, which is fucking awesome. Also, two even minutes in. Oh, Did y'all see that? Right. They were charging their Coral Gen. They were using the. Oh my god! And you say that riding is boring. Look at the fucking tech, sliding across the spaceship to let their Coral Gen recharge. A notable point about the coral, uh, the coral gen with this build is that the main dish is enabling a lot of this. The main dish cuts down that recharge time massively, meaning they don't need two nebulas to stay in the air after firing after they run out. They only need one. You want me to just gotta hit? That's GG. Yo, it took them two and a half minutes to land one shot on either of them. And they weren't just sitting back and being passive. They were trying to fight each other, trying to fire off missiles and stuff. And this I think is it's incredible movement. Huami has hit some cra- Oh, the snipe! Huami might take it! Aggression now. Melting the shield. They have to go for it, they have to go for it! This goes lost the face! You cannot count Hawami out. The patience! Dude, the oh patience! Oh my god. No way! Hawami, like again, one of the way. best snipers in the game versus a defensive rat build. Like, that is that is what I am talking about, gamers. Disco slips up once. And the game's over. And the fight the fight becomes like an all-out brawl now to get that bat that damage back. That was so sick how the pace immediately just turned on the so, dime. Salami yeah. out for Hawami! No fly away! You can't say that! Ooh, wonderful snipe by Disco. Wonderful, wonderful manual aim snipe by that. Hitting that nebula on the ground, predicting where Hawami was going to go with the wheelchair legs. This reminds me so much of old AC fights, hell yeah. Oh my god. Sorry, the cheese cheers are killing me. Uh, <laughs> AP lead. Slight, but as we saw, uh, Hawami is patient. I think someone said, I think someone said, I want to see more dodging or something at one point. I can't remember who said it, but someone, someone was like, they, I'd like to see more dodging in, uh, in, in Armored Core 6 or like that. Like, th there is a lot of dodging going on. Hawami is incredibly cracked with manual aim, and Disco's just dodging. I'd understand if you're just watching, like, me or you know, Moogle or Striker, and you thought that, but like, you gotta understand at the the high level of players like this, they're dodging. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm they're dodging a lot. Reverse six zero incoming. Was a bit Nate? better, but yeah. Quick boost just needs a defensive property to it. Oh, a this one took damage. Something. This one took a lot of damage. Trading. If Hassan landed, 
Disco has to aggress here or, or risk just losing straight up. Eh, minute 30. Let's see if Disco has the same patience that Hawami did. <laughs> this is turning into a game of basketball where only the final minutes count. This time in seconds. Oh, very much so. Disco taking even more damage as the play, even riskier. Oh, the stun! That was so much damage. That was so much damage. We might actually see the reverse 6 0. We might actually see the reverse 6 0. Are you kidding me, chat? One a minute chance. left. Disco's low and high stagger. Again, Disco there messes up once. Disco fucks up once, and you see what happens. This man has been doing this for 11 hours, chat. 11 hours where if Disco fucks up once, they lose. If Disco fucks up once, they lose. 11 hours! Yeah, I hope you weren't, Disco's like, trying to get ready for bed or anything, because we're gonna be here a little longer. This is just like anime, but IRL. I mean, honestly? You're like, tell me a more anime esport than Armored Core. It's basically how I want every Gundam game to play. So, right. You know. <laughs> I got into Armored Core because my dad thought it was Gundam. Good job, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That's That's amazing. Yeah. Look at di look at what Disco's doing right now. Oh, playing the pit. Oh, but honestly, bad move. Disco took a lot of damage there. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but still, it's a lot for this matchup, this long-range this... poking matchup. Yeah. In this right. AP economy? That's a lot of damage. Here's <laughs> another one of those fun spots on this map, just chilling. Look at the, look at the but coverage Manuel here. Nebula's gonna do some damage, Whoa. though. It's like 270-degree cover right there. How many maps have spots like that? Nothing on Xylem like that. Except maybe the bridges. And they're narrow. We're just gonna take a lot of damage here. Disco getting staggered! We just does not find his way home! That is such a huge problem! But Huami's just getting better at sniping! That's what's happening! Why is this getting better at sniping? Huami has the AP lead just barely, but they do. VPM is enough to put it back into Disco's favor again. Check the arrow chat. Oh, you know what though? You know that silly little spot where uh, Huami was hiding before? I wouldn't want to be in there if my opponent had a nebula. Yeah, no, definitely not. It. The VPMs are is. hitting! VPMs are so sneaky, man. The fact they can hit back there in that spot is wild. VPMs are insane. They're so consistent. They're sentient, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> They've got their own AI. Yeah, a little coral AI on them. Little airs. <laughs> those my are missiles that no AI. <laughs> my v <laughs> there's a VPM on my shoulder that called me Stud Muffin. Core response <laughs> from the enemy missiles. <laughs> <laughs> It's still slightly in Disco's favor. I love. Oh no, it's not. No, that. Let me take it. Ain't no way. It got shielded. I think, right? No. Yeah, it had yeah. to have been. What an exchange! A manual aim facade from like 300 meters gets blocked by a shield. These are truly the grand finals. <gasps> yeah. That's game. That has to be. I don't know, man. 40 seconds is a long time in this match. Uh, I... Uh, Huami, Huami hit it! Huami hit the fucking snipe! Are you kidding me? Huami hit the snipe! These manual aim assault boost turns are so sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Wow. Huami needs to assault boost away or something. Look at their stagger bar. There it is. But Disco can't, can't capitalize on it! Disco goes down! The nebula up. The charge Disco goes ready. down! Okay. We yeah. carry on. Insane. Disco goes down! It Hawami, was true. The sniper! It was true. Hawami adapted to the lad. I mean, <laughs> what else could it be? How, do you, how else do you explain <laughs> the consistency of the shots at this range? Are you, are you luck. fucking kidding me, Maybe Chad? Maybe a little bit sometimes, but dang, dude. Are you kidding me, Chad? Huami is one phase away from being 2-2 with Disco. I know they're in loser side, so they have to win a whole other best at the rest of five. But oh my god. Huami just had to hit, has to hit more snipes. Well, two more minutes of 
patience or aggression at any moment. Mm -hmm. Playing a Ooh. dangerous game now. Almost caught that stance. Disco, how's your confidence over the pit? <laughs> <laughs> well, Disco, Disco never has to touch the ground, ever. Wait, 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 wait. I asked and was answered. They were landing on the pipe? Yeah, you don't know pipe tech? What the fuck? You can stand well, guess, here? Yeah, time to explain. For those that didn't know, there's cover under the map on both sides. On this side, it's the pipes. On the other side, there's no real cover, but you can still kind of fly under there. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Why did FromSoft do this? I don't know. They're cool. <laughs> Bro, FromSoft what? are big gamers. Yeah, and if you don't know about it, like, your opponent could, theoretically, just disappear from the map and you wouldn't know what to do. We could scan, but yeah. We just got caught, just got caught there by Majestic. Can Disco it's keep it up, It's gonna change, though? though, as players learn about that spot. I mean, as you just saw, plenty of people didn't know about it. And now they do? This far into the game. And now Ooh. they do. That could be a crazy spot to brawl. It's like on uh, that one Smash map where all those <laughs> fights happen. People get knocked around a bunch. I mean Temple? Temple Fight Club? Yeah, that one. I know how this goes. This is where this is what this is where that grid of yours kicks in. Oh. Thirty man. seconds. Want me to say the big facade snipe or something? This is still has their pulse armor. There it is, right there. Dodges. Ooh, that facade missing is big. That's the phase. Disco it takes it. With the skies of Rubicon overhead during this. This yeah. could be the last phase of the tournament. This could be it. This could be it. Oh. The facade stop actually working! He had just got the facade stop! Who want me is mad! Who want me is mad! Five seconds into the match. Oh, Who shit. does that? The VPM is doing me. so much damage to the wheelchair though! AVP leads back in the back in their favor! Oh, man, cross map laser cannons shots at the start of the map match, or in this case plasma, really bring me back. That's good to see. Cute little spin there by Hawami, I like it. They are both him, exactly. And there's only room for one him. Nord VPM. Oh my god, so good. Hawami well, just has to hit a few of these snipes. It's almost not even worth talking about the damage split right now. Both players are so patient with it. But as that clock ticks down to 130, 115, it starts to matter. They need to start making moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Glad we could have you, Cleric. You're just in time. Oh. Almost snapped to the Majestic, come on! I want more! <laughs> I know it's been 12 hours, but I do not want this to end! It could get extended. Minute 30 on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> see if we see a bit more aggression. More Where's risking, more missile volleys. Taken? I can't believe I'm saying risking at this range, but here we are. Disco take, Disco got, Disco got hit, but they, they parry it! They parried it! They parried it with their coal shield! <gasps> that was a huge facade from Disco! Oh, man. That was a huge right. facade. That was huge. That was fucking huge. Ball's now in Disco's court. They gotta watch out for the, the, the ceiling, though. Yvonne's gonna connect. They wanna watch out. They blocked all of them. They rose up just enough to block the VPMs. Nebula, though. Nebula moment. Yeah, all it would take is for Disco to fly themselves into the pocket and fire off that nebula, but they could take a Vassan back for their <sighs> trouble. It would not be a worthwhile trade, but they can pop the shield. They can both pop shield. I don't know what's There's going the nebula. 
You know what's happening? They're scanning right now. They are, they have them scanned. The second they go in the sands, they're moving. That's what's happening. Disco took off the sun! Might as well go in. Oh, went for the big play. Takes a bunch and that's of damage game. up close. That's game. Holy Huami shit. does it. Huami does it. Huami says it's not over. The tournament will go on. Two, two. Hit, My hit, God. Hit, hit, <laughs> Disco right hit. in the pit. Disco right in the pit. Two, two. Winner's side, Disco. Loser's side, Hoami. Anyway, back to the match. Yeah, that's strike one, Robius. I, 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 I will get you out of there. I, I will get you out of here. You can't say that. Fuck that. I'm down with that, Dirk. Thank you for the timeout. Yep. I have yeah, to censor that in the that. YouTube video, too. Good lord. Holy shit. Alright, anyway. Mm. Back to the match. Wami hiding in this little rat hole. I do like it, though. It's funny how we call this the rat hole, but it's, it's starting to become an anti-rat maneuver. Oh, the VPM's landed! They have to aggress. They have to, they have to get a snipe now. That's true, because if a rat has to go into the chambers, it's uh, risking a lot. There's nowhere to move. And that's where these higher damage builds can really do their thing. Yeah, there's a definite risk of pain if Disco decides to get back there with Huami. Yep, absolutely. AP lead is small, and with two minutes left, there's no need for strong action. However, Huami gets stuck Disco's on a little damage. bit of terrain geometry and catches the full four pack. It's Ooh. insane to me that Disco is so good at defensive play, so good at riding, that them taking damage makes me pop off. Like, that is insane to me, that <laughs> even taking a slight amount of AP is exciting for me, because Disco Extremely is so goddamn good Danger at defensive zone, play. St staggered, Fasan, Fasan doing its thing. Fasan through the pulse armor. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oami's well, still at high stability, though. That's true, and they're doing a lot of damage. Oh, but the Fasan back! They're doing so much damage, you can't coral shield it after it already connects. That was just a, a full Fasan hit. Pulse armor is activated from home from Wami. Oh. Wami choosing to choosing to play defensively. Back in the hole. VPM's taking making them take damage, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. They have they look, like Disco would have to make some sort of play here. Which they did! The Nebula going taking damage, doing damage! Yep, moved the needle back most of, most of the way. One more of those will swing it with 40 seconds, meaning that they and could it, just time it out and fire the shot. And that and happened. Hope that they don't eat one in return. And that very much so just happened. Yeah, Huami has the slightest AP deficit. Oh my god, that's tiny. But it matters. And behind the pipe, too. Manual emphasis on uh, right there? No. This one takes damage. The needle is swinging. It's still in Disco's favor, after all <gasps> that. The four-pack land. Needle moves. Last second. That's it, that's game. Those Ooh. VPMs mattered so much. Those VPMs mattered so much, chat. This could be the last phase of the entire, entire tournament. The entire tournament. This could be it. 11 hours. Disco has played uber defensively. Can it catch up to him here? The only downside of it being so close is that I have to watch the needle. And I want to watch the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they get, to, they get to watch the fight. We got to watch the needle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No movement yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's like subtitles in an anime. Nothing to report. <laughs> Disc comeback. Big the Nebula like landing. Ooh, that Majestic doing so much damage to Disco, though. In a game of attrition, that matters so much. Well, let me run. Won the trade so far. Retreating to cover. Disco opting for the nest. Oh, that was Disco. I. I'm 100% <laughs> backward. You're good. It's been 12 hours. <laughs> True. 12 hours stream. 
go now. Down, up, down. This goes still down. Oh my god, these majestics are just landing. Up, down, up. It's... Oh my god, that needle! <laughs> that needle is just barely in Huami's deficit! Both of these players are just on the same page. It's so it's so close. Oh, the majestic from downtown! <laughs> but it's what still not majestic enough. Majestic weapon. Oh, the stone, but the nebula missed! It's the deficit too high. Can Wami make it back in only a minute and ten seconds? It's looking doable. That Fasan could kip it all the way, I think, if it hits. Now it won't. Oh, man. Dude, Disco parried the Fasan! Disco parried it! It had to have been. Yep. <gasps> Parry from the start, you can do it. That majestic was insane. <laughs> Ooh, those VPMs are gonna direct the damage. They see one stagger. There's a PA from both players. Gonna go down first on Disco. Far away. Waiting for the shot. Shields it. Catches the Majestic on the way out, though. Takes full damage, but partial stability damage due to the Assault Boost. And then the Blazer Girl! Huami goes down. Disco wow. is your winner. Disco wins it. Woo! The Rat King. 11 hours of defensive play has just earned Disco. 460 US dollars. Congratulations, Disco and Hiwami for crushing it up to second place and flipping the bracket around, too. Insanity. Insanity. That is 3-2. Disco wins. No bracket reset. Honestly, though, Hiwami? Insane. Hats off to the true Rat King Disco, sir. Huami, look at that. Look at that sportsmanship. Truly well played. I wish Harami streamed or did anything on social media so I could plug it. Disco, do you have a Twitter or anything like that I can plug for you? And would you like to do would you like to do a call for an interview of some kind? But good shit to Disco for that. And good shit to my co-commentators as well. I'm gonna go do a shout out for Crazy Moogle. Cause Crazy Moogle has stuck with me throughout this whole thing. And they're a very good go commentator. I mean, I shout out Dirk Donk in just a moment, but you can also click. If you if you don't see the heart above the chat right now, please click it. Please click it. But also you can check out the in the Twitch title, in the stream title, you can also see Crazy Moogle's name. Please click that as well. Go to their page. Give them a follow because they are a fantastic dude. And we all three do Fight Clubs at different times. I do mine early morning. Moogle does theirs late at night. And Dirk Donk does theirs around 3 p.m. CST. Pay up. I will be, yes indeed. I have to call PayPal in the morning because they're holding like $375 for whatever the fuck reason, but I will be paying up very, very soon. Everything else is there, so I can, I can pay the uh, I can play the winners. But I got I gotta wait to have PayPal give me my $375 back. <laughs> that ending was just absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a Phenomenal fight. This, that is like the best showcase of sniping that we've seen. Legitimately amazing tournament. We had we had a okay, a rat one, but what a fucking cool rat build. Can we talk about that for a moment? That was so fucking cool. Yeah, a manual aiming rat build, like maximum skill ceiling rat build. Good lord, dude. Yeah. I wonder if that type of build can even get popular. That, m my God, man. Good night, Hawami. Get some rest, gamer. You need it. Send me your PayPal before you do, though. Send me your PayPal before you do. But get some sleep, homie. You need it. It's like, it, it, it's almost 1 p.m. over there, homie. Get some fucking rest, dude. You need it so much. You need that. Yeah. Get some good, good sleep. Thanks for the bits, by the way, Cross. I appreciate it. And Disco, well if, you, if, you. if you'd like to do a, if you'd like to me to pull you into this group chat, let me know. Hello. And Twin, what's up, Disco? How, how you feeling, dude? 11 hours riding, huh? Oh, oh man. It's, uh, that's a lot. And it's, <laughs> it's, 
It's like climbing a mountain of cheese, and every step it just gets slipperier. <laughs> hey, you sound excited. Was that a was that a tough match? That was so hard. Kalami's so smart. Um, yeah, that was that was very very tough. Um, I'll turn up the and like every bit. every match, like he would he would learn all my tricks, and I'd have to be like, what other tricks do I do I know? I had to pull out the um, the secret uh, rat wires on um, on eighty six. <laughs> Yep, yep. You revealed that to a lot of people today. I didn't know about yeah. that. I had no idea. Um, there's, yeah, it was very hard. Um, I'm like having trouble stringing sentences together because all I can think about is like the warning bleeping sound and like where not to get hit. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep, in full gaming mode, understandable. Yeah. I can completely Seriously. understand. Not gonna, not gonna lie, I completely understand that it's <laughs> the beat beat was probably ingrained in your brain right now. Yeah. Well, so and it's, was it's that... extra hard because then the the fight moved into the like the six hundred range, so it alternated to manual mode, and then it gets into this like statistical where could these be going? Like, it's super fun, but like wow, it's stressful because if you if you fall behind on the uh, AP lead, then like you're kind of screwed. Like you're you're making all this bet on like. I'm never gonna get hit. Mm -hmm. But very fun. It almost yeah, seemed to... like a game of poker where you had to uh, basically gamble how much AP can you deal back in the final yeah. seconds if you wanted to stall. And then, like, how much AP lead do you need before you can be safe? And like, all this time, you're like, if I mess up one time, it's just gonna tag me with a facade, and then there's like a quarter of my hit point. So it's was, it was very tough. Meme has a question: Would you bring Coral Shield again? Like what was the, what was that? Okay, the coral shield, the nebula. That's the big thing that really like brought this away from a traditional rat. What was the thought process behind that build? Because that honestly, really fucking cool rat build. Like that was awesome. Thank you. So um, this build specifically isn't something I would play generally. This is um, specifically built for your tournament, for your map selection, and for what I thought the meta game would look like. Um, because it it loses really hard against um, any kind of lightweight kinetics, um, rush kinetics. Like um, Zimmermans are, are really hard, but um, if you drop weight, if you go down to like the 70k range, I just basically auto lose. Um, I auto lose on lower grid against anybody fast. And um, it played well on Xylem, it played well on Jorgen, and it played well on outer grid. So that gave me three picks. Um, I can do a soft ban and I can do a hard ban. And um, I picked the Nebula to get around some of the really hard cover on um, outer grid, the rat hole. And then yeah. if you combine Nebula with um, vertical plasma missiles, you can push people out of the um, the gear tower because you can put explosives on both sides at the same time so there's nowhere safe to be. Otherwise, they can just run around in circles. Wow. It sounds like a lot of planning went into this build. Did you play a lot of scrims or have friends help you out? Yeah. Um, so the the core group is like me, Kine, everyone in the... Well, mostly like Kine, uh, me and Blend used to scrim like constantly, but... Um, Blend has moved on to Skyrim, so we kind of just fish people out. Um, Winnower does a lot of really good ratting. Um, Barquad does really good ratting. Um, Bulls is just, like, smart. So um, a lot of times I'll take a build that I think is, is viable and is, like, you know, beating people, and then they go, oh, well, like, if I just stand over here and, like, raise my eyebrows, you can't hit me. And then I go, oh, okay, well, what else can I, what else can I make? Um... It's yeah, lots of that you built around that. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's what you have to do when you're when you're playing right. You have to figure out like what are all the hard counters, um, because Rat is a game about like you have to stay. You have to have a path to victory in every fight, and it doesn't have to be the same path, but you have to like have one. And so, if you fight somebody that just like hard stomps you, then there's no, you can't really like outplay them because if they just hold W, then like you fuck. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's cool. Huh. One second. So do you think uh, being like locked onto a build like was more fun to build for? Do you think so like, much or, more like fun. was engaging oh, or Yeah, so much more fun. Because normally what happens is like I think we saw this in the last uh, the last tournament that, that Blend played in, is that um, him and Kyne were going at it and they're both like very good players. But after the first round, it kind of turned into like well, you have advantage, and now you have counter pick, and so all the, like, not only do you have to play this match that has like a like a twenty eighty against you, but like everybody has to watch it too. 
So your plan was to win against the majority of builds. Yeah, against the majority of builds. And, like, uh, a lot of my negative matchups were... Um, like, I could kind of skill check a little bit, because there's some um, there's some really cool movement tech. Got it. Yeah, the, the movement tech was, like, honestly, the nebula keeping you in stance, like, able to recharge your cold gen is so fucking cool. Like, that was amazing. Uh, my, um, my computer fell asleep because I wasn't touching anything. <laughs> yeah, like, expanding on that, did you pick a uh, main dish generator so that you could stay in the air with a single nebula? Yeah, um, there's... Basically, the options were main dish and um, mind alpha. And main dish brought me up... It was like an extra 200 stability or something like that. And that was a really big key in not auto-losing the Zimmerman matchup. And main dish also makes you technically faster than mind... Um, Mind Alpha, which is like really silly because Mean Dish has a 10% faster recharge rate and your booster stat doesn't really matter. Um, the other really interesting thing about Mean Dish is because you're on a um, uh, red line generator, you're actually trying to empty it out as fast as you can in, in certain situations. And so I'll, I'll do something that you, you see where I'll do a double boost. I'll boost during Assault Boost and I'll immediately QB cancel it. Mm -hmm. That QB cancel is easier on Main Dish than it is on other things because it actually costs more energy. So main dish is like, it's it's just very very good for what I'm trying to do. What, why no wrecker like actually uh, a dragoon actually has a question real quick. So mm -hmm. this is a question that I'm actually considering as well. Looking back, is there anything you would have done different? Like anything anything you want to change with your build at all? Like any, anything at all? Because like being locked into one build for eleven hours, you might have seen some flaws in it that you're like, oh wait, I should have had this instead of that or something like that. You know what I mean? It's going back and back and forth between um, the shark head. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. The one that's got like the, the hammerhead, yeah. The hammerhead, yeah. Yeah. Um, and and Veril. And I'm not really sure which one is better. Um, there definitely were some really really hard fights on um, shipyard. Like I think that my shipyard yard fights versus uh, Huami would have been a lot easier with hammerhead because like I had to try to to find him with radar. And then if I if I left that 500 radius, then he could sneak up on me and hit me. And so like being in that 500 radius was really dangerous. But if I had Hammerhead, where I could just scan constantly and like scan forever, um, I would have been more favored there. Uh, I was planning to just be on shipyard constantly, though. So um, I'm not sure if I made the right decision or the wrong decision. I mean, I guess I made the right one because I won. But like, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> kind of hard to have regrets when you're four hundred sixty dollars dollars richer. You right? You know, it's like <laughs> about, about record legs. So record legs are really, really good. Um, if I had played this build more, I would use them, but the reason I didn't is because the energy level, like the difference between those and the legs I'm using, means that I can't regen energy on the ground while I'm um, charging Nebula. And adding that additional management um, caused a lot of play mistakes for me. And so I said, like, I'm just going to take the, the slightly worse. I mean, it's not really worse because it's got more defense against like a lot of things that hit me. But that um, speed would definitely have helped in a couple of matches. Yeah, I, I can imagine so, because, like, honestly, the thing about, like, builds are not just on paper, right? You also have to be in players' hands as well. It's like, you have to, you, you have to think about how many mistakes can you make with this build and still win. Yeah. Yeah, and Wrecker's then, hilarious, though, because you end up at, like, 2150 stability or something like that, plus Coral. You're, like, a tank and a half on top of each other. So another thing that I need to do, by the way, gamers, before we end here, I need to shout out Dirk Donk, because Dirk Donk is another co-commentator I have, and they do fight clubs every single weekday. Please go hit them up. They're also going to be playing Steel Battalion with the controller very soon, which is very fucking cool. Excited to watch that. I'm looking forward to playing it, honestly, man. I'm so excited to do that. It's a game I've known about for ages, but have never got my hands on it. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we hang out online. Yeah, victory. Victory is this. Well, really, victory is decided by AC design and AC piloting. And Disco went into it thinking about what builds would be meta and like really just having a clear idea of what they wanted, the playstyle they wanted to play, and what would work against those ACs. And obviously, it worked out. I mean, Hawami's build went undefeated, undefeated. They took every single round, nine zero, until Disco showed up. And played out of their fucking mind. Sorry about passing down share in a minute. I'm definitely going to, Sakura. Good lord. <laughs> Congrats to Disco. Disco, do you have a Twitter or anything I can plug? Like, anything at all? Because Hawami doesn't. That makes me upset. 
Um, so I'm going to be working with uh, Trite on a mobility video. So I guess you could go watch that when it comes out. But oh shit, um, yeah, nothing, nothing for me. Like I, I have a channel, but I just kind of like put clips up that are 10 seconds long, and I send them to my friends. So like nothing that would be interesting for you guys. I say okay, that's fun. All right, well, it's nice right. having you. Thank you for being in the tournament. That was a really fucking cool match, I will say. That was just fucking awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that, thanks, Disco. Congratulations. And I am going to end the stream. I guess we go raid someone? Who are we going to raid? Who's, who's streaming right now?